Oh my goodness, welcome back everybody. How we doing? How we doing? Good to see so many familiar faces coming on back to the stream there. Good to see y'all. A few new faces as well. Always happy to see that, but hope we're having a good afternoon or late evening there for some of our European friends. But how we doing, Heather? Holding down the fort still because um uh, if you're not 10 minutes early you're uh, 10 minutes late yeah i was raised that way as well if you're not if you're 10 minutes early you're on time if you're on time you're late if you're 10 minutes late you may as well turn around and not even show up that's how i was raised as well what's up pp what's up p blade moonlight is in the building as well sumi sumi is here we have felipe how are you doing felipe level wolf is here i love your zoos has come back ash d has joined the discord as well as hanging out in the chat there. And we have Mr. BZ blowing our socks off builds with the amazing ostrich zoo and totter hanging out today as well. I love it, I love it. Lurk in the background all you want, my friend. I appreciate you just hanging out and providing your vibe. Sure. <laughs> sure, but let's go ahead. And we're gonna play a game today called Swamp Simulator 2021 because it is now 2021 and we have to do that so but welcome back into i love that he actually did this <laughs> welcome back into gotta take a poo don't use our outhouses because that's where our employees stand all day use our restrooms instead the nature preserve here the beyond wolf nature preserve with oh man we even have frank hanging out here let's get frank out of here for now but man, let's just take a look at what Mr. S Daddy Dan has been doing here. He's been doing some work, right? I, I asked earlier if we should keep, uh, uh, excuse me, if we should keep S Dan around and y'all said that, yeah, we should. He's been doing some good work lately, hasn't he? He's been doing some good work in between there. So I, I guess we'll keep him around there. I guess we'll keep, keep him around. Let's, let's take a look as well. Nice and close here. I looked at all this stuff yesterday in the file, but I didn't look at this. Uh -huh -huh. I like this a lot. I think we're on to something over here. Yep, even with the smokestacks and everything. Hey, Primal, what's up there, buddy? What's up there, buddy? Do do do. Bold's late again. May as well just not show up. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> what do you do with the fire? Wait, what piece do we have that's... What is this? Oh, the fire... There's literally a fire pit. Okay. Okay. Oh, man, duct tape has to go get it. Gotcha. Um... Okay, so he's been doing some work there. Very good, very good. So we're going to go ahead and jump in today and do some work on Claire's. Rem's late too. Rem is late as well, so there's double the reason that we're going to just have to go ahead and cancel the whole stream. Because, tell you what, if you're not on time, then don't even show up, okay? Uh, right now I'm looking at some buildings real quick. You know what? Why don't y'all come with me? Come with me. Field trip time. Quick field trip. Everyone get, get a buddy. Get a buddy and come with. Here we go. One, two, three. Bam! Field trip. Field trip. Uh, what piece of the fire pit? Oh, the fire pit. Yeah, it turns out the fire pit is the fire pit piece. Turns out the fire pit is the fire pit piece. Who knew? <laughs> um, Alright, so here... Where was the one? Oh, there it is. Here's what I'm thinking for Claire's. I think we can go with the Billings Bread Company here, the Billings Baked Good, because Claire specifically mentioned that they would like a round circular structure because we all know that S Daddy despises making circular things. For whatever reason, he's just, he's a square. He's an L7 weenie, all right? He's a square, he's an L7 weenie. So we will put in the circular sexy curves in the zoo. Any curves that you see in the zoo, and you're just like, ooh, that looks good. Just remember, ya boy. Ya boy. <laughs> do, 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 do. It's actually almost one in India. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Doss. That is, that is that's so late. I think Ruv is also from India, right? Ruv is also from India. So... If Ruv is here, you can hang out with, um, you guys can talk about India and stuff like that. I can't remember where uh, Ruv said he's from, though, in India. Does he say Mumbai? All right, so we're going to put Billings, or Claire's, right around here. 
how do you get your own buildings? I'm sure that we're going to have enough buildings where everyone will just kind of get their um, their own. It's basically if you chat and hang out in the community, then you'll probably end up getting one. Um, to be honest with you, it's, it's not that high of a uh, recommendation or anything. We're going through like mods and members first, and then we're going to go to regular chatters, I think is the idea. So Claire's was the next one. I think Estian told Claire that we would get her set up. So we can go ahead and start to get some of this stuff out because this was just kind of temporary. All this was just temporary just to get the alligators in. Oh, and by the way, I'm not saying alligators and just like substituting for crocodiles. No, like we literally have alligators in here. These are actual like alligator mod from Nicholas Lion Rider. So yeah, when we say alligators, we're not just being like, oh, our crocodiles kind of look like alligators. No, 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 no. These are, this is an actual alligator mod from Nicholas Lion Rider there. We have taken out the, I think it's the female crocodile and replaced it with um, alligators here. So, oh, there's a good look at them. There's a good look at it. But yeah, so if you're in game right now and you bring up the saltwater crocodile, you kind of see the differences here on um, on what they are there. So, will your murder shack get a roof? I think that's where we, oh, you know what? We probably will work on that first. I think we'll work on that first because I kind of had some ideas going there. Yeah, you know what? We're going to do that. We're gonna do that. Hey, thanks for the likes on Twitter, everyone. Your your faces are awesome. Appreciate that. Okay. We're gonna get rid of that. We might actually do some other deleting too. Here we go. It's deleting time, everyone. It's time to delete everything. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> he thought he was safe. No. <laughs> delete. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get a roof that's right <laughs> um I, I like the base of it though i like the bottom here that's a cool idea it's just the top here i had a little bit of a different i had an idea do i know the difference between alligators and crocodiles yes one of them is called alligator and the other one is called a crocodile so there's a really big difference in like how they're spelled. One of them has a C and the other one has like an A. So yeah, that's pretty much the only scientific difference between them. Other than that, they are literally the same animal. I'm being meme right now, so. <laughs> I, actually, I don't, I don't know the difference. Doesn't one of them uh, more on more in water and one of them? No, that's turtles. No, I don't, what is it? What is it? Do, 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 do. The shack may look better with wooden walls and maybe some of those small brown windows. Dot, 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 dot. Sumi loves the dots. Sumi loves to do dot, dot, dots afterwards. I had a, I had a friend in um, high school that was like that. They would end all their sentences with dots and stuff like that. It's like, dang, you really like the dot, 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 dots. All right, so where is... I think we're going to look in actually habitat for what I... No, 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 it's in scenery. Nature. There you go. What I want. No more trees. Kill your trees. <laughs> uh, when you see you later and when you see in a while, crocodile. <laughs> and joke. <laughs> a dead joke. <laughs> Dude, you team trees is triggered. Triggered. <laughs> Heather. <laughs> Uh, by the shape of their nose and teeth? Oh, by their nose and teeth. Gotcha, gotcha. That was like a real answer. So yeah, I want this to look like, and that's what we were talking about when we first made this, that basically this whole town, and I think P-Blade's uh, shack especially, is just basically made out of whatever happened to float by after like a hurricane or something like that, you know? So I think it'd be kind of cool if we made like the upper deck out of, <laughs> an upper decker, gross, um, out of like trees and just like kind of floated by things basically. Uh, let's switch up the trees a little bit here. So that's gonna be a tree house. Oh heck. Oh, 
Music ended. Who killed the music? What the heck? Come back, music, come back. There we go. Ant Crispy's in the building. The crispy of ants. The crispiest ant alive. Uh, you're almost like you're getting a brewery? Yeah! And it's larger than Estan's bill? Yeah! <laughs> Suck it, Estan. Ha! Man. Just great news all around. Yeah, finally caught me live. Heck yeah. Do do hoo hoo. <laughs> La -da. Hey, Martin is in the building. No, you were right on time. We just started, I don't know, like 10 minutes ago, and most of that was me jabbing our, about something, I'm sure. Just jabbing away, not doing anything. We are, I don't know if you've caught any of Estan's stream, but we are picking up pretty much where Estan left off um, last night in his stream, where we are building out the rest of Pea Blades, Poison Blades. I think he said he doesn't like us when we call him Pea Blades, so I'm going to keep doing it. Um, little shack here. If I go with Alcoholic Dwarf Dre, it would actually be smaller than Estan's build. But if you look at it from a dwarf's perspective, which we should, <gasps> excuse me, I just ate lunch. <laughs> then it's bigger, okay? Just make it, just make sure it's bigger overall. It just has to be bigger. Well, let's make this the roof. I don't know if I'm going to do like an interior. Actually, we probably will do an interior. We probably will do like an interior of some sort. So let's, um, throw up some of the, yeah, this stuff here. <gasps> Shh, chat, you know what we're gonna hide in here? We're gonna hide a JWE key in here for S-Stand to find later. This is gonna be an S-Daddy Easter egg. I didn't tell him about it. So we're gonna, I gotta figure out a piece and I gotta make a key, like I wanna make like a golden key or something like that. And maybe we can get like a dinosaur plushie or something holding it. I don't know. We gotta think of something, but I wanna like hide it in this building. I've been trying to think of, yeah, right? <laughs> I've been trying to think of, or if someone wants to take a stab at it. Oh, no, I'm, I'm probably gonna get to it pretty quick here, but um, yeah, I think we'll hide a JWE key in here. You like that? Yeah, I think it'll be good. <laughs> I think it'll be good. <laughs> No one better spoil it. No one spoil it for S. Dan. Maybe give him like little hints. Be like, hey, maybe what's, did I see something shiny inside of P Blade's uh, building there? What is, what is that? What? Huh? Who? <laughs> we'll go into the Viking project Valhalla. I need to keep uh, you two separate or you might kill each other. What if we go to war? What if you make it so we go to war with each other between Kayan El Bashard and uh Oops and uh the Valhalla? What if you have them both go to war with each other? Ooh. Ha ha. Ooh. Did you see the uh yeah, did you see the there you go, just real nonchalant if he just starts to like go away from me. But wait, maybe there's an interior to it. Huh? I don't know. I don't watch Drew streams. Who knows what he did? <laughs> Let's have a little deck coming out this way. Hey, Esten, check out the new shack. Check out the inside. Wow. I don't know anything. <laughs> Just look like Zach Morrison, basically, when you when you do it. If he were to see you, Just be like, what? Huh? Yeah. Totally, dude. Right, Jess? This doesn't need to be perfect at all. Like, it can totally look almost bad. <laughs> like, it doesn't match up or anything. That's kind of the point of it, so. Before someone comes in, oh, this, this doesn't really match up and it's not, it doesn't look great. Yeah, I know. I know what it's supposed to. Actually, I think we'll redo this with, there's a skinnier one. Yeah, yeah. Insert nice splat sound. <laughs> it's 
going to drive bold. I think it's SD and I's, like, goal to drive... Goal to drive bold insane by making this entire project based around not lining things up to the grid. So it's just our objective now to make sure that nothing lines up to the grid. Everything is, like, custom just kind of thrown on the stuff. And then bold is just sitting back there like... God damn it! We've talked about it. <laughs> it's our it's our goal. <laughs> Sharks and Mantas DLC. Oh man, wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that be great? There we go. Even though it's a fantasy type build, still gotta keep the archer out. Still gotta keep it plausibly fantasy. There's a build style there. Plausibly fantasy. I think I'll just make that my build style from now on. Do you build realistic? No, I, I build plausibly fantasy. <laughs> Meaning some stuff, a little bit out there, a little bit crazy, but you can maybe see it working. The grid is your savior, man. I do like the grid, but I, I've, I've liked this build because I've gotten to kind of get away from that kind of stuff a little bit more. Like, plausibly fantasy? Yeah. Just if something looks a little bit whatever, just be like, you know what? It's just plausibly fantasy. It's not full-on realistic. It's not full-on fantasy. It's just in between. It's like both. What should we use over here? Those are pretty good. Hey, Roov! Roov! There was someone else from India... In chat as well, Rue, and I believe I remember you saying that you were from India, so y'all can talk about that. <laughs> Ooh, what if we did... Yeah, what if we did like this? Like, he got... Not that one, but isn't there another... I thought there was another cart that wasn't as painted up and looking like this. I'm almost positive there is. Almost positive. Haha, <laughs> fire pit. <laughs> I still can't believe I didn't notice the fire pit in this game. Like, what the heck? What the heck? There it is. <clears throat> what is realism? Is it a type of food? Yeah, it's like Korean. Yeah, it's a Korean dish called realism, and you get it with like a little uh, chinchi on the side, is, and then it's it's really good. Oh, you know what? Actually, the other cart will work out better because it has a base to it. It has like a floor to it. This kind of doesn't have a flooring to it. So that's never good. We do need a little bit of floor. And we're going to build it out of this, this little thing here. Basic Builder's back. Welcome back, Basic Builder. Welcome back, Basic Builder! Woo! Roof, of course, buddy. Of course, thanks for submitting stuff. And don't worry about the, you know, the little... The error with it or whatever. It just comes with the process. It comes along with the territory, basically. So, you are fine. Be sure to submit some more stuff in the future there, if you would like to. Can you recolor this? Tell me the... Dang it, Frontier. <laughs> but I believe Domez or Carlos made some palettes that are recolorable. So we will just use theirs. Do 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 The East Asia set, yeah, I like the East Asia set. It's a pretty good set there. Pretty good set. There we go, that fills it in. And we can recolor it too. Oh no, there's different pieces in here. Oh no, what pieces are in here? Oh, I see. I think I see. Do I really need to recolor this? No, because like no one's gonna see it. Will I know that it's not recolored? Yes, so that means I have to recolor. I think we're gonna call that good enough we're gonna call that good enough okay um all right moonlight have a good one frank <laughs> and 
until your PC cries. I already have a I already have a Planet Coaster Park that makes my PC cry. I don't need a Planet Zoo one too. Well, actually, Thornton Hills is kind of starting to get there, to be honest with you. Oh, especially after I get it back from Wyatt Andrews. Oh, it's gonna be because Wyatt right now is uh, building a, uh, a whole Asia section to Thornton Hills Zoo, so. That is going to be cool, but I'm sure, yeah, my PC is just going to be like, why did you do this to me? We were already feeling bad about it beforehand. Cave Andrew, that's right. That's right. Wintertime strikes. The temperature drops below freezing outside. And then I remember I can grow natural fur on my face and keep my face warm. So when I have the combination of like wearing the mask outside and my face fur... Oh, winter can just go F itself, basically. I have the ultimate protection. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Good to see ya. It's not a cry, it's a whimper. Oh, man, your zoo has a Frank exhibit? I think every zoo should probably have a Frank exhibit, shouldn't it? You know what? This back wall is actually going to be a different texture. Maybe these last two walls are going to be a different texture. What if we got, like, a sign that, like... Oh, man, I want billboards in this game so bad now because I want to get, like janky old looking sign that had been blown off a building as like his back like it would be like a like a hooters advertisement or <laughs> you know like something kind of ridiculous this kind of works this kind of thing kind of works grow natural hair it is i'm just saying like in the winter time i always grow my face hair out that's the only time because it just kind of makes sense to do it then every other time it's like why it's so hot in the summer <laughs> Do, 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 do. Sorry, Poison Blade. Like I told you before, you just gotta try harder. You're not growing a beard like mine because you're just not trying harder. You're not trying as hard as I am, so therefore you don't get as many good things in life because you didn't try as hard as I did. Again, it goes like this. I got one. See? Fresh hair. It just sprouted right then and there. That's all you have to do. Just believe in your in your face and push really hard like you're pooping. And then it'll it'll pop out. Women, I don't think it works like that for you, but you can try that too. I don't know. You might just poop instead of actual hair, but yeah. Oh yeah, you know what? We'll turn these around. How jank is that? I love that. Behind you, you must... Oh, plants. Yeah. Hey, plant man. Hey, plant man. Let me get my, my stream thing up here so I can see what I'm actually doing. There we go. All right. So, I'm not going to make a bigger webcam thing, so you're going to have to look at it through the small webcam. I has, I has, okay, so here, lemon tree grown from, just at the store, we were having like lemon pepper chicken one night, and we cut a lemon up, and there were seeds in it, and we threw it in there like three years ago, and now we have this, <laughs> so there's that, we have our, it's kind of hard to see, I think, we have our cactus succulent station over here, um, pothos, that is normally outside, is inside, so it's kind of going through a shock. I don't know what that is. Monstera? No, not Monstera. I always forget the name of that one, too. And in the back, there's like a succulent propagation station that you can't really see. So those are the plants in here. And then outside, out in there, we have a whole bunch of other plants, too. Like, we have a bunch of plants in, inside. We love plants. Lemons? Yeah, lemons in Illinois. It's gone over so well. <laughs> it's, we haven't gotten any yet, but it's because when we bring it inside for winter, it goes into shock normally, and I and we forget to water it because it's so dry. So we don't water it as much, so it loses most of its leaves and stuff. This is the first year where it's not, it hasn't lost all of its leaves in like the first week, basically. Um, but yeah, we're hoping this coming summer that we can actually get it to go. But yeah, so plant is plant. Yeah, am I not wearing pants? No, I got pants. Well, not pants. I have shorts though. They're my sleeping shorts, so. Yeah, I thought they were pretty good descriptions. Yeah. You saw that was it? I've never lived in Canada. I'd love to, though. Uh, I was living in Colorado. Colorado. I see. I still say it like a native Colorado person. I was living in Colorado for a while. Um, but yeah, we moved back to Illinois like two years ago. Because Colorado, it turns out, is super expensive to live in. <laughs> like, we already kind of knew that, but it got even more expensive to live in the longer we stayed there to the point where we were like, well, this, you know, studio apartment is nice and all for $3,000 a month, but like, 
What if we go back to Illinois and like buy a house for less than that in mortgage payments, you know? Cause <laughs> like we're not dumb. Uh, I miss Colorado, don't get me wrong, but oh, fuck me. There's, it is not sustainable. Ugh, Savannah, you keep you keep talking to me on the, the Discord and then you come over here and it's like la 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 and it's like get, get a life, bro god. Just get a life, bro god. <laughs> I have such a Canadian accent there. It's kind of Chicago a little bit. I've been told it's kind of Chicago. <laughs> well, we're northern Illinois, so there you go. That's that's where it's at, right? That's where it's at. I kind of like this outline that this gives. Australia pack for the win. Australia pack for the win. You could call it a hoozy instead of a house there. <laughs> Let me just get up in the house there. Oh, Bold, you sure do sound like that there. You just don't know it because you've been around so many people that sound just like you. Now I sound like a ro like a conehead robot. It's like Dan Aykroyd turn into a conehead robot. All right, now that we overly detailed something that no one is ever gonna look at, um, except for S Daddy. All right, that's fine for the exterior. Again, it needs to look like literally just, <laughs> okay, we gotta do the bottom a little bit more, but um, yeah, that's looking pretty shabby there. Maybe a few more trees to give it like more structural there. Cause yeah, really need to worry about the structural support of this fantasy. Plausible fantasy. No, plausible fantasy. We do need to worry about it. <laughs> oh, we have that big honking log that's randomly in props, right? Yeah, here it is. This one that's like, why is this in props? The Australia pack is nice, stares at Mike. Yeah, like, I wish I knew what the Australia pack hit, had in it. If only some, like, YouTubers could, like, do a review on it or something. <laughs> hey, Dan Create, speaking of YouTubers that probably covered the Australia pack. And ones who didn't. <laughs> Glad to see some people are still playing Planet Zoo. Well, see, it turns out when you start to build a zoo as a theme park, it's a lot more fun. We were talking about that last night. Like why we, like we've been on a freaking kick the last few days with this build. Like all of this that you see here, all this stuff here, like, yeah, I stand at these, like this whole side here, I did this side. We did this in like three days because we're just stupid excited for this build. And we realized it's because we're building this like a theme park and not a zoo. Like, yeah, we will put animals in it, I'm sure, I guess. Yeah, alligators, there you go. But like, we can give a shit about the animals. <laughs> and we're just, and we're like the zoo process. And we're just designing it like a theme park. And it's way more fun. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> I don't know what, I just don't know what else to say. It's just more fun for me and us to design a theme park than it is to think about designing a zoo. And I think that's just cause we're just, we're theme park nerds through and through. We're theme park nerds for days there. Why do I have it pause? Let's unpause it. Let me catch up with chat here real quick. Do 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 do. Building zoos is so 2020. You might, you're not wrong, Nick. Koalas are evil. They're just jumping through the fences. Oh my gosh, koalas. Do 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 do. This is so SDN. I know, and I'm loving it. I'm harnessing my inner SDN, and it's 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 freeing. <laughs> it's kind of a like freeing experience to just kind of see how he does his builds, and then apply it to your own. Like a lot of this is, um, you're probably really familiar with the bar mills through um, Planet Coaster and stuff. But yeah, we just took bar mill builds and then added SDN stuff to it, and man, it's really fun to build like him. Like literally just going through your build menu and just being like everything, just everything. This, sure, there, bam, that looks good. Cool, that looks good, that looks good. That look like, I just can't explain how he does it, but he'll just literally take the, the build menu and just be like, Pfft. and you're just like, what the fuck? How did you do that? Why does this look good? This shouldn't look good. You can't just go through the menu and throw things at your building and then expect it to look good. And then SDN's like, yeah, 
yeah, watch me, bitch. <laughs> See, then, then Mike comes in. Um, actually, the weight of the logs and the power lines would actually... See, we have an actually. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there are enough zoos um, that are at the theme park. I don't know why you always restrict yourself. Because, probably because the, the zoos that I've been to are like zoos and not like theme parks. I've been to like literally three zoos in my life. <laughs> I mean, I've mentioned to like my normal viewers enough times that I'm not a zoo nerd. I'm a building nerd. I just like to build. And this game just happens to revolve around little creepy creatures and little cute creatures and stuff. But if they were to come out with like a similar game that was like an updated version of the Cobra engine that had the same building style and everything, I would jump ship right away. Like I'm not devote to Planet Zoo, you know what I mean? Or animals or anything like that. I'm devoted to building cool things that are fun. The animals are just like, yeah, that's neat. That's special. Oh, you know what we could use for this? We could um, build a bed. <clears throat> oh, thank you, um, Marsh. Appreciate that. Until the ponytail palms are free. No, we're gonna root rot them. We're gonna root rot them until they uh, die. <laughs> oh, here, yeah, I wanna use bags of grain or whatever for his bed. You wanna drag me to Zoo Hanover in Germany? Ooh, nice. The Calgary Zoo also looks pretty dope. Yeah, I'm fully aware, like, my zoo knowledge is ridiculously limited. And, like, the zoos that I've been to are probably not considered, like, some of the best, like, zoos to compare to build or whatever. Like, yeah, the Brookfield Zoo, the Milwaukee Zoo, the Lincoln Park Zoo, and the Madison Zoo, which is, like, basically a square block with giraffes in it. Um... But, like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Very rarely do you have animals in your zoos. Yeah, right, right. What was the archer? Oh, it's the angry archer. It's for scale. If you want to get make your buildings look a little... I don't know where he is now. Where's Frank? Frank! Where, wherever Frank is, uh, it's a, it's a must-have. Because it helps you build in scale. And that's why a lot of this looks kind of halfway decent. Because this is about the size of a guest... Um, so then you can kind of compare planet planet games kind of tend to run really big with how their building style is So you got to kind of keep it reined in a little bit and that will really help your builds um, look a lot more realistic um, But yeah, Frank kind of helps you do that there kind of plop him wherever you want to and everything so <laughs> You murdered him? Who did I murder? I didn't murder anybody Except my face with the blue steel look I'll blue steel look everyone right now and just murder your faces <laughs> Someone mentioned that on Discord the other day that they're like, I'm going to blue steel you. Or like the rhino was blue steel. Actually, it might have been bold. There was like a shot that someone did, like a picture someone sent in, and it looked like the rhino was trying to pose for everyone. Good old Frank. Yep, Frank is a must have. Frank is a must have. The backstory to Frank is that Frank came from Planet Coaster, it was an archer scenery piece. But they didn't bring Frank into Planet Zoo, like the monsters they are. And um, yeah, Mr. Domez, awesome community member, decided, uh-uh, no. And made Angry Archer, who is Frank's cousin, basically, and he's in the zoo now, so. I deleted Frank when he was in uh, P-Blade Shack. Oh, that's right, I had to get him out of the way. You know what, I need him back, though. Frank! Why are you here? Dude, what are you doing over there, you knucklehead? You big old knucklehead. I need to know if this bed is like, okay. There we go. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Um, it's amazing, especially their Yukon area. Oh, nice. Nice. Someone needs to get Frank a rifle and put him on top of one of those roofs. Oh, that'd be perfect. <laughs> He's just sitting up there, just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. LPZ is a great zoo, but, uh, making it is a chore. Well, that's Planet Zoo. You have to earn it, okay? You need to earn it. This can actually go a little bit taller. This can actually go up a little bit taller. Ooh. 
Do, 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 do. Welcome back, Roof. Heather, enjoy your your burb. Oh, speaking of uh, Mike, you and Parks and stuff, I got to catch some of the uh, the Parkitect live stream yesterday. That was a good time. That was a really good time, actually, watching y'all do that. I can't believe that Ruble literally made the Louvre in Parkitect. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I, I don't... That dude is ridiculous. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Parkitect multiplayer. A uh, few of the bros and dudes were doing that yesterday. That looked like a lot of fun. I definitely want to get on some more... Uh, play some more Parkitect there. Sling Blade references? Oh, man, we have to do more Sling Blade. Mm -hmm. All right, Dan. All right, Dan. <laughs> Oopsie. All right, there's, there's a nice little pillow, right? I'd sleep there. I'd sleep there. Oops, I can actually do that. Shaking all of a sudden, then I realized there's a horse trying to climb in the back um, for scraps of hay. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be kind of startling. Just like, oh my God, what is happening right now? And then you turn around, there's just a giant, giant horse just staring at you like, what? I just, I'm just hungry. That's a little bit too big. I want to make like a uh, like a bedside table. Oh, you know what? We'll use. Well, um, I was actually I was making it out of wood, but I think we can use some of. Oh, I'm in favorites of toy. Some of the like African pieces or just some other little trinkets. I always forget about these too. This the Aus Australia pack for the win, man. Australia pack for the win. Kind of like a sleeper for me at least like i knew it was good but i just kind of don't realize how many pieces i use from the australia pack that are really really handy and it's really like rustic it's basically it feels like our um studios pack in comparison a little bit it just has a bunch of like rustic janky backstagey kind of stuff Frank's Little Crib, right. <laughs> this is your first time commenting on a stream and I love being able to talk to my favorite creators. Oh, I appreciate you hanging out. I appreciate you hanging out during the build. The stream wouldn't be half as uh, exciting <laughs> as it, as it uh, normally is without um, y'all to talk to during it. Remember how I said that I was working on that dinosaur plush for the JWE key thing? Well, it should be out. Oh, really? Um, can you send it to me on Discord? Or if it's on, actually it's on Steam. I can just go to bam, bam, and go to recents, and it will show up. See all, there's almost 50,000 items on uh, on the workshop there. Oh, faux kelp plant, I need that, thank you. I don't see it here on the uh, recent upload, so make sure that your visibility is t uh, toggled to everyone. Make sure you have your visibility toggled to everyone and not just um, hidden or friends or anything like that. Welcome back. What are they up to with Planet Zoo? Um, yeah, probably four packs with four to five animals in each one. Maybe we'll get like, I don't know, like birds or something. Or who knows? <laughs> I don't know. I don't mean to sound so disheartened. Like, I just realized it sounded, like, ridiculously disheartened when I was talking about that. Like, yeah, no, hopefully we get some birds. Like, that'd be cool. I'd, I'd be pumped for some birds. Um, oh, can my guys escape? Well, that's all right. They'll come back because there's food over here. And they they have anandula ablangata. So that whenever there's food, they'll just come back all pumped. It's glitching, uh, not uploading. Hmm, I had some issues with Steam earlier, uh, not uploading. So yeah, that might just be a thing right now. I hope they add a shark pack or a Siberian pack. Maybe adding a, a lynx or a caribou. Ooh, interesting. That could be interesting. A shark pack though, that would be cool. I'd be all about a shark pack. Hopefully birds, yeah. 
Did you see the Sienna t-shirts? Birds confirmed? I did. So we have birds confirmed from that. Um, sloths confirmed from that. Uh, what else was in that that's confirmed if we're going that route? Uh, new tigers are confirmed then. <laughs> yeah, there's a few things, right? If we're going, uh, if we're going to go with that logic. <laughs> that's awesome. I don't think this is going to look right. We'll probably have to use like rope or something. I like these chains, but they're just so dang bulky. They probably would look better with rope anyways. Yeah, it looks weird. That's weird. I'm not sure. I just want to get more rope and crap on here. I know it doesn't really make sense like this, but whatever. <laughs> kind of whatever. <laughs> Because that's the nice thing about these builds, is you can literally just throw everything at the wall, and even if something doesn't fully make sense, like, it'll probably get covered up or drowned out by something else in the meantime. Uh, Alright, let's make a rope coil, like, wall almost, or fence across here. It's too thick. It's too thick. Uh, birds and sloths confirm. No, we were just, we were trolling. We were memeing. Yeah, s Dan's shirt designs. Right, yeah, we're just memeing. We're just being a meme. Nope, nope, nope. Nothing is confirmed at all. We won't hear back from Frontier for probably, you know, three months or whatever. Hey, you can finally play it? Oh, that's so fun. That, that's like, that's the most fun thing you see in the Planet Zoo communities where you hear about people who haven't been able to play the game, but they've been keeping up with it by watching like uh, content creators or staying up to date on um, Reddit or Twitter and everything. And then it's like, I finally got a PC or I finally got the game. That's like, yeah, Primal. Primal who always comes up with amazing ideas, but doesn't actually have the, uh, the game or anything. <laughs> it's like, dang, man, you need it. You needs it. Because Frontier said they will do more community theme packs, and the community wants aviaries above all, so... Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe. because my bike hangs similarly in our house so I'm just gonna do the same thing that I do with my bike there you go except that pokes out nuts um I just need a little doop. oh the new uh that new fence piece is perfect for this there you are Do, 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 do. You guys is Southeast Asia next with the um, Kamar and Kar, what style building pieces? Sunbear, the Binturang, Binturang, and hopefully a few more primates. That could be pretty neat. Binturang. I feel like I've heard of that animal before. The Binturang. Uh, how does he get up here? That was Max's thing. How does he get up here? Uh, he's going to get in through a hole in the floor. I need a ladder. Here's how we do holes in the floor. If you don't actually want to make a hole in the floor. Boom. Hole in the floor. <laughs> kind of. I'm going to theme it up a little bit more, but kind of how what I'm thinking. So that'll go there. We could do the, the smaller one. No, no, no. We need the bigger one. And then come up to this. 
This is where the door will be up here, right about there-ish. But I think that we can make this out of something a little bit better, maybe. Oh, squirrels? To be honest, I would love something like that. I would absolutely love something like that. To have just like squirrels and ducks and, you know, just like a normal ambient animal pack, I think would be perfect. Cause yeah, just, I would love to see just like frogs and turtles and just little ambient natural wildlife kind of hanging out in your zoos. I think that would add a lot. Let's go pause it for now. <clears throat> yeah, right, exactly, Lion Rider. Just like ambient animals, just like birds flying across, like, Planet Coaster has birds, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. Planet Coaster has birds. Those will light up. Owls, yeah. Grasshoppers, yeah. Little things like that, yeah. Maybe they could do add like donkeys or wild, yeah, like a stallions and stuff. Oh, yeah. Even GWE has birds. <laughs> are actually more commonly called bear cats, even though they are related to bears or cats. Interesting. Don't get, get out in my swamp. <laughs> well, let's get rid of this bottom thing here. I'm actually just going to replace it with this. I like I like how the uh, the door came together with these two pieces here. Don't get, get out in my swamp. <laughs> Long hair horses, yeah, Clydesdales, ooh. All right, now, I don't feel like making one and I literally just saw someone put one up that was perfect. We need to make a ladder, but yep, yeah, that's the one I'm gonna use. Right there. Just gonna save ourselves 10 minutes <laughs> and just download the ladder that I already know I wanted to use. Or it's not going to come up, and that's fine. Oh, because I'm under. Or it's not going to come up, period. That's fine. Whatever. I'll just build it. <laughs> I won't be lazy. I'll build it. You've been messing around trying to make a key since you mentioned that you can't get it down. Oh, well, I appreciate you trying. And it sounds like... Um, Steam's having a bit of issues right now anyways, because, yeah, I can't even download anything right now. Oh, yeah, I didn't even subdo it. It said I sub, but I didn't sub. So Steam might be having just a few issues at the moment. More guest stuff like gift shops with clothes and plushies like in JWE. Ooh, yeah, some like um, some interior stuff so we don't have to fake it. That would be cool. Oh, these aren't part of a building. Yep, that would be pretty cool there. Because I think they do that in Planet Zoo, but it's more so like it's implied, right? It's like, oh yeah, your guest just bought a shirt, but we're not going to like fully show it kind of thing. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, that would be pretty cool. Oops, oops, oops. This is the quietest stream ever. <laughs> is in like, I'm not talking as much or like, it's just chill, like it's chill. We go for a pretty relaxed vibe around here, don't we? 
We try to go for a pretty relaxed vibe. Zilbin, have a good one, buddy. We'll talk at you later. We will talk at you later. So chill, so chill. So fresh, so chill. It's pretty hard to, uh, we, <laughs> it's pretty hard to get, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, kind of rambunctious in a Planet Zoo stream. I'm not gonna lie, it, it's, we've talked about this before. It's not like we come and be like, friend, 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 we got alligators on deck today. Camels, crocodiles, what? You know, it's, <laughs> it kind of gets to do a point where it's, uh, it's, we're pretty relaxed. You, you can't get too, too excited. It is exciting, but you know, we keep it all inside. <laughs> you sound like cringe yes exactly just picture cringe in like call of duty and all those other games and perfect you got it you got it that's that's what that's what it is so <laughs> uh Oh, he actually kind of made a ladder. I didn't even see this. He kind of already made a ladder right there. Well, what the heck? We'll have both of them. <laughs> to be, we'll just have both ladders, I guess. Because why not? Why not? We'll have a wooden one in his as well. And then what if we do it where there's like... Just a few missing in some of them? And this one especially, since it's all like next to the water and everything, what can I really have this one uh, be really dilapidated? We'll have like some of the pieces that like fell off of it. Just kind of floating. Maybe they got like caught up next to the boat over here. So it's kind of all collected like over by the boat or something. I don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me, would I go for a dip in this pond? No, I would not. No, I would not. You know why. We got our gators in here, wherever they are. We got real-life gators hanging out in this pond. There they are. Yeah, you go ahead. Jump in that. Jump in the water real quick. See how long until Mr. Snappy Pants over here comes over and would like to talk to you. <laughs> but other than that, no siri bub. <clears throat> no siri bub. Um, but you can't join us member. No, yeah, like Heather and them said, no worries. No worries. Just being here and hanging out and uh, just watching and everything, that really counts for a whole, whole lot. It really, really does. So, no, I appreciate it. Appreciate you just hanging out, being part of chat and everything. That's awesome. Let's put, like, a door up here. A door, a door. Door man. Door man, door man. Yeah, I've mentioned it before, but it, literally at this state of like my channel's like growth or whatever you want to call it, the membership stuff that people do is freaking amazing, of uh, of course. But it um, just being here and hanging out and subbing and commenting and liking, you know, all that stuff that YouTubers always rattle off. That's what's really important for the channel right now, just because we're still in a growth state for sure. Definitely, definitely just trying to grow a little bit. Oh, you know what we'll use is, um, no, we'll just keep, be consistent and use this. Uh, $50 is a low amount to die for. What the heck? What? Give me $50 or you'll jump in for the gator? Yeah, I mean, I could, like, fill up part, part of my car for 50 bucks. Like, I barely, so maybe, I don't know, set your sights a little bit higher than 50. 50? 50. Oh, 
I like this, but I just want, there we go, just that. We've put a few bird nests up here. Like they had, they've taken up uh, some refuge up top here or whatever. I don't know where the roof's gonna be over there, so let's just leave that right there for. YouTube's been doing that, but you said, um, they said, because I mean you aren't a forceful YouTuber saying like, like, subscribe, or have bad luck. Yeah, I am proud to support you. I appreciate that. Yeah, no, I kind of think that that kind of YouTubing is a little bit cringe, to be honest. Like, I'll say it, like, everyone's at the end of the videos. Um, so only, I was looking at the other day, only 1.8% of my viewers last until the end of the video, so probably no one knows this. But yeah, at the very end of every single one of my videos, I always say, you know, be sure to like this video if it's your first time hanging out with us, subscribe so you get future updates, and we'll see you in the next video. Um, but yeah, no, there's a lot of people who are just like all of a sudden it's like you click on their video it's like subscribe now it's like i don't even know who you are i've never been to your channel before i don't know if i want to subscribe to you or not give me like can i can i see who you are and like what you're what's what's going on give me a second bub give me just a half a minute there goy you should add um some of the those around the island with eggs in it. Yeah, I think that's a cool idea. I think that's a cool idea. Am I starting on the... I don't need to start on the roof yet. We gotta start on the... Uh, we gotta do the interior still. Just like I do the interior, and I'm already going to the roof. Like a pleb. I said earlier I wanted to, like, put, like, a nightstand next to there, and I got totally sidetracked. <laughs> that happens. There we go. Here's what I was thinking, too. Oh no, it doesn't have a bottom to it. Oh well, there'll be something else. The gators in the background on a mission marching around. Oh, back here? I don't know where they're going, but they're they're out of here. They are out of here. I think that one just jumped on the other one. I think they're fighting each other. Fight! <laughs> uh, Emma's Queen, welcome back. Welcome back, MS Queen. Good to see you as always. That's a nice piece. We're gonna need some tarps as well over this. Oh, there, African drum is gonna be the, uh... there we go. The little nightstand. So we can recolor it? Yes, we can. We can recolor it. Okay, uh, what other little bits are we going to throw in here? Basically, yeah, we're going to go through the prop section and just start placing some random stuff. <laughs> so if we, I'm going to start to look into the JWE key too. We're going to make that, because I think I want to hide it in one of these baskets. Those of you that made a JWE key or are making a JWE key for SDN, I appreciate the heck out of you and we'll still look at yours if you do make one, but I cannot guarantee that we will use it because I did kind of have a specific place in mind. That's why I didn't really like fully ask for um, any of them because I do have a kind of a specific place in mind. It's a really tight little area that we're going to have to put it in. So, um, but yeah, I do appreciate y'all making it still though. Let's see, just some more stuff. You made a, a garage for your line enclosure full of trash and my old cars in your zoo. What? That's kind of funny. Again, just really the most random stuff you can think of. I'm just wanting to put in here at this point. It doesn't matter if it's fully sensical or not. I want it to like still flow as far as the theme and stuff like that goes, but we can get a little wacky with it.
cool. Do, 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 do. Well, if SDN wanted to, and I told him he should do this tonight or something, he can totally um, get JWE now for free on Epic Store. <laughs> we can count that as him getting his JWE key, right? That could be his key. I don't think he was into that idea too much. I don't think he liked that idea. <laughs> so I don't think we'll be getting a S. Dan Jurassic World Evolution stream anytime soon. Perch Steve on the balcony? There's an idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh my god, the 3D gizmo is still crapping out. Uh-oh. Whoa. I don't think I was breathing enough. Sorry to anyone that just yawned. Or am I? Ha ha ha. My diabolical plan to make everyone yawn is working. You got it for three bucks? Nice. Or three uh, euros, sorry. You can't get it anymore? I thought it was over the weekend. Oh, man. He's going to be so upset to hear that. Oh, mercy me. How will he ever live? <laughs> <laughs> something tells me he's gonna be okay but man we do have to get him to play it one time because i think it'd be hilarious to see him play it i yawned i know i know it was only a day oh man it was only a day i sent back my build to sdn today he might be uh streaming that today oh really uh sienna uh savannah what, what do they call it sienna builds or savannah builds or something Hold on, he called Suyana something. Simply Suyana. <laughs> I had a good crack. I had a good laugh with that. Simply Suyana. Do, 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 do. Is it the secret build? Ha ha, the secret build. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. I think it's one of, uh, isn't it one of your, yeah, it's one of your kind of secretive-ish builds. It's not the secret build, but it's one of the secret builds. <laughs> um, am I a cat or a dog person? Both. I own a doggy and a cat. So one of my cats, actually, you might be able to see him right now. He just blends in really well. Oh, I'm in the way. One of my cats is, there he is, Bruce. Hey, Bruce, 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 Bruce. Hi. <laughs> He's a black long hair. And then we have a gray short hair cat. And then we also have um, a dog. Also own a Murphy, who is a short-haired yeah that should be good there a short-haired um lab german short-haired pointer mix and he's probably sleeping not too because that's what he loves to do you have a black hair uh called minky <laughs> he's ignoring me yeah because he's sleeping back to sleep right back to sleep this is all the animals sleepy deepy time all the animals are sleeping <laughs> Still working on a monkey house from Zoo Tycoon 1. It will hold animals, so of course it'll, it'll it's not going to be identical. That's so cool. I wish you could get the... Um, you know, we're actually going to get rid of these ones here. Whoa. This little the flooring here. I'm going to redo it just a little bit, I think. Um, you have to have the monkey noises inside of it. The hoo hoo ha ha. Because <laughs> I remember that sound very, very vividly from Zoo Tycoon 1. Hoo ha ha ha. All the time, all the, you know how long it took me to realize that um, they only made a noise when people went inside of the buildings. Like I didn't know that, so I like it's like why does this go off all the time? And like oh, whenever a guest purchases something like the building, then it counts and goes off, kind of thing. Like the bug house always did it in Zoo Tycoon One. And I was like, what is happening right now? I'm gonna go nuts. Um, but yeah, it's it's just whenever they purchase something. <laughs> uh, 
What time is it in the U.S.? Right now, it's 2.05 uh, Central Standard Time. Right now, it is 2.05 Central Standard, so it is 3.05 EST. Yep, EST. There you go. Forget about the sound effects. <laughs> oh, man. The little bug noises that would go off. I can't even do them because they're just like little annoying noises, but you know we can get rid of all this stuff now, too. Kind of have a different idea working over here. Eight oh, yep, the, you guys are six hours ahead of us, so five hours of the people on the East Coast there. Um, yeah, you're six hours ahead of us. Oh, why did I do that? Heck. a mistake to do the ropes <laughs> you think india's about 12 hours before the u.s oh dang 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 bang a -rang. it's cool to connect with people from other countries i agree that's one of the coolest things about the community and everything is just meeting everyone from yeah india to the uk to germany and you name it Different parts of the U.S. as well. Gotten to meet some people that live in the U.S. by going to a theme park last year and stuff like that. So, yeah, this community is awesome. Best community. Do, do, do. It's, it's noon there. Yeah, then you get Savannah, who's like, I'm from California, bro. So, like, y'all can just, we're going to take it easy. We'll get there eventually. Besides Hawaii, he has a Hawaii and Australia. Oh no, it starts with Australia. It starts with Australia. But yeah, California, they're just sitting back like, all right, dudes, I'll get there soon, man. I just gotta kind of take it easy. <laughs> I'd love to visit California. It's definitely a bucket list state for me to visit. Never would want to live there though. More power to the people that do live there, but I could never live in California. What's up, Andy? What's up, Emily? I got Andy and Emily. Just ruined a paper. My creativity sabotages me today. Oh, maybe just go take a walk or something. I don't know. I mean, wherever you can take a walk to, but that, that helps me a ton. Like just if I'm like in a rut, I will just go and take a walk real quick. And that always seems to like reset my brain. Just gotta do a little like a hard reset basically on it. Just get away from whatever is making me uh, frustrated or whatever. Do, 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 do. great weather stupidly expensive yeah and that's where it, that's where the big thing for cali comes in is really expensive and like the places i'd want to live too many people it's just there's too many people because i'd probably want to go to san diego or or 
No, that's probably about it. I don't think I could... I could visit San Francisco. I, I'd really like to visit San Francisco, actually. Like, I'd really, really like to. Um, L.A. can... I don't care. <laughs> I, I really don't care about L.A. Um, Hollywood kind of seems like it'd be neat to visit, but... Uh, San Diego, I definitely would like to visit, but... And, like, seeing the Redwoods going up north would be neato speedo as well. But other than that, like... I don't know. There's just not too much in California. I have all the theme parks, I guess. So I can't really fully say that because there's a, some of the best theme parks in the world there. I don't know. I don't know. Is this just a straight up umbrella? Oh, it is. Okay, okay. Do, do, do. You've been to California once and visited San Diego and LA? Nice. You need a dog? Go get a dog. Go get yourself a dog. <laughs> just go find one on the street. trap door to get up there or whatever i want to put like a fruit stand out or something like that a redwood tree and planet zoo that'd be pretty cool you seen the redwood forest it was amazing that's awesome mad at that's awesome seeing redwoods would be the one thing i would want to do to see someday me too me too the red like you could see you see ones where cars drive through redwoods like that's amazing that's ridiculous And you gotta think, like, those trees are, like, just hundreds of years old, if not... I don't think I don't think they get into the thousands or anything, but just the sheer, you know, amount of life that are in those trees, being that old and that big, it's just, it's, I don't know, it's staggering. It's pretty staggering when you really think about it. <clears throat> Excuse me, gosh used to watch some of the live camps from San Diego Zoo. That, that's why I love doing those. We just watched one uh, yesterday when we were eating breakfast of the uh, Kansas City Zoo, I think it was. They had their penguins out. So we were sitting there and that kind of came up on our YouTube recommendations. I was like, you know what? Shoot, let's watch some penguins. And it may, I, I kind of want to redo the um, Kansas City Zoo's uh, habitat for it now. Just one second. They are thousands of years old. Oh, really? Really, really? That's that's spectacular. That's freaking spectacular. got some shutters now look at that upgraded to shutters <gasps> do, 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 do. you love everything about cats ms queen they are pretty you know what though uh the one behind me bruce here what a butthead um he, <laughs> speaking of her elementary and him yeah he i caught him peeing in our freaking lemon tree the other day and i was like dude you're gonna kill it. Like, actually, twice in a day he did it. We had to run it through twice so that the urine wouldn't heck it up or whatever. But I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Crap head? Like, what the heck? We might have to bring him in. I hope he doesn't have anything wrong with him. Cats are for people strong enough to have a god seated on their chest every morning and demand sacrifices.
Didn't Estee make a fishing pole? For bolds? Kinda. You know what? That's fine. That's totally fine. <laughs> I think this is just one piece that they, they use, but it works. <laughs> it kind of works. Bruce says deity complex. He probably does, to be honest with you. He probably does. Little shithead. I love him. <laughs> too small. Use the 3D version of it. Sure. Fishing line. <laughs> it kind of works, right? It kind of works. Uh, wait, the Stegosaurus is out. No, wait, what? What? Estian lives in uh, Melbourne, doesn't he? No, no. No, no, no. He lives in Tennessee. You have three cats and they all walk around like they own the place? Because they do. They do. You get massive house spiders? Oh, gross. Gross. <laughs> you haven't uh, had a live cricket in your house in years? Well, I mean, that that's, yeah, that's the, uh, that is the payoff, isn't it? That's kind of the payoff with it. You have spiders that usually typically don't mess with people and then you don't have to worry about bugs that do mess with people. I tell that to my wife all the time. I always tell her we have to have at least one indoor spider. Like she'll want to kill every single one. I'm like, I think you got rid of almost all the other ones except for this guy. We have to leave him alone. And she'll argue and she'll be like, but it's going to crawl at us and get in my ears and yada yada. I was like, no, it's not. And we have to have at least one indoor spider or we're going to be screwed. Especially during the winter time when all the other spiders have already chosen their homes. Man, we have to keep our one spider at least. Or else we're going to be overrun with bugs. You, th you thought he lived in Australia? I mean, <laughs> Ruve, I'm not going to lie. Nowhere in S. Dan's accent do I ever, have I ever thought Australia. <laughs> That's, that is a total new one for sure, my friend. That's awesome. In the mountains and has to order wheelbarrows of internet. Yeah, he does. He is a Tennessee mountain man. <laughs> Basically, he's a Tennessee mountain man. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, it does, Heather? Oh, okay. It's on the workshop. Okay, I'll see if it fits in. We'll see if it fits in. Oh, this little stegosaurus. Let's see the size. I didn't see an archer next to it. Oh, yeah, too big. That's why um, <laughs> he's so goofy looking too. Um, yeah, this is too big. Um, make sure you place down an archer when you're building stuff there. That's why the archer is important when we were talking about him earlier. That's what the archer is important for because when you're building stuff relative, because I built all this in human size, right? Um, I built this in, in human size. So yeah, we got to build, if you want to build stuff to fit in here, you got to build it um, according to Frank's height, to the archer's height, uh, not just kind of uh, willy nilly. So, all right, um, let's go ahead and hide the JWE key. Let's hide the JWE key. Now, if from the South America pack, right, we had what I think I'm going to use. Yep. How big are these? <gasps> Dang it. Speaking of things being too big. Oh, 
Oh no, and that's all the gold pieces, isn't it? Shoot, shoot, shoot. There goes that idea right out the frickin' window. I thought those pieces were way, way smaller than they actually were. Yeah, I was I was under the impression that they, these uh, square gold block pieces were really tiny. Hmm. Oh well. Do, 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 do. I have all the power. The power inside! You know what we'll do maybe instead? What if we did it like this? What if we... I have an idea. And y'all are going to have to direct him a little bit on this. So what if we came out here? Alright, work with me here. We're just, just work with me here for just a second. Send when she drove her grandpa around so he could uh, deliver a shrine in the North Georgia mountains, really? <gasps> okay, I think this is gonna work. Shout out to Suicide. Suicide, if you ever watch this video, come back to Planet Zoo. Suicide was an awesome creator when Planet Zoo first came out. Do, 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 do. You're working on a Bayou Frank Lion Rider. I appreciate the heck out of you, buddy. We'll talk to you later, all right? We'll talk at you later. That's awesome. <laughs> hey, Aku, how you doing, buddy? Sorry I missed uh, part of your zoo there. I didn't realize that we missed it. I thought I zoomed out and we had uh, seen everything. So that's my bad. Did I not grab it all? What happened here? Ooh, Chick-fil-A. That sounds pretty good, actually. That actually kind of sounds pretty good there. Oh, I think this is like a rounded surface, so it's not gonna... No, it doesn't really look like it. Huh. That's not gonna work. Okay. Two strikes so far. Uh, last thing to try is using the teeny tiny signs from whatever pack. Australia? Ooh, it might just work. I think there's a smaller one than this. There is. Okay. I think it's gonna work. You Jersey Mike's for lunch? Nice. I have never had Jersey Mike's. But it sounds a lot like all the other sandwich shops. Except for Subway. Subway just straight up sucks now. Has anyone had Subway lately? It's like god awful, isn't it? Like what happened to Subway? They used to have like good toasted, like really awesome sandwiches. And then they just like stopped updating their menu for like a decade or more. And like their shops are just like bull crap. Man, I'm not going back there for like a long time. I had a really, really bad experience the other day with them. Or the other week. It's like the only time that I've been like gone out to like get food and it was from them because I really wanted a sub from them. And then it's like, it was just so bad. It was just soggy bread. It was, yeah. All right, so here we go. Here's what we're gonna do. And when I said that, those of you that watch S Dan, you're really gonna have to help him because we're gonna literally make a treasure hunt for him. You had it a few weeks ago, do you agree? It's just, I used to like it a lot, like in school, like we had a subway, excuse me. And in college too. Oh, there we go. We had like a subway stand in our campus and it wasn't half bad. Like I get um, a toasted grilled ranch chicken sandwich with like lettuce and yeah, you know, all this really good stuff. But yeah, it was just, it was shoddy. I was, I was just kind of upset because it was like one of my former favorite places to eat. So, <clears throat> um, Chick-fil-A is awesome. All right, so we're gonna bury this down. Now let me make sure it's easy for him to actually get in here. And he needs to set his size to like two. And then, yeah, it's right there. Oh, perfect. You know what, we're gonna get rid of one thing. <laughs> okay, so it needs to be size two and intensity can basically be 60 or above. And then he just needs to like click just a few times and then he'll un unmask it there. But we're not done yet. 
we're not done yet so we're gonna have it look like this was kind of recently kind of disturbed a little bit so like the dirt was just kind of up a little bit william holmes hi <laughs> Yes, and we're gonna exactly. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> we are going to do that. Um, so we do that. Maybe some more taller grass all around it to kind of hide just a little bit. And then yeah, we're gonna put an X. We're gonna put an X down. There's some like new grass growing over it a little bit. There we go. All right, perfect. And then yep, we come into our construction here. <laughs> No, it's gonna be a little bit faded because you know it's been here for a while right so the paint's starting to fade away a little bit it's not as uh, vibrant as it was in the past there you go and then we're gonna cover it up a little bit more cover it up there happy day silver fox what's up buddy what's up buddy Kind of place we're using around here a lot of those a lot of those a lot of those bracken we we'll use some bracken <laughs> i'm so excited for him to find this later Do some bracken. We'll also do a little bit of the red X is good, right? <laughs> uh, it's pretty good. Uh, let's see here. What else do we have? No, what's the underwater thing that we're using here? There it is. Yeah. There. So yeah, he's going to have to go back here and whack at some stuff and all that. But yeah, make sure y'all who normally watch SDN, uh, make sure you redirect him to that tonight. All right. You need some popcorn? Get your popcorn. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I love that, um, he loves his nickname so much. Yeah. He's going to hate us for this. You think so? <laughs> you think so? Oh, man. I got to hide a waterfall somewhere. Yeah, we'll probably have to do that. Yep. <laughs> Try to remember. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. Let's go ahead and keep building here. That's fun. That's fun. I'm going to keep putting some more random stuff in here, probably, because I just want this to be really, really cluttered up, right? Like, really just cluttered to, to all hell. Oh, it's not going to quite work. That's okay. That's okay. Some of those nests down with eggs around the island. Yeah, no, Sumi. Yeah, I said earlier that we would do that. Yep. I think that's a good idea. I still do. I still do. I said it will do all this work to find a J. Yeah, me. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him it's like, hey, Drew, I think Drew left you like a present or something. Uh, and one of his builds, I think, you know, it's something, it looked really cool from when he was doing it. Maybe he finished it. I think it was over on that island, on P Blades Island. I think that's where it was. If you look in your profile, the one that I made, the Stegosaurus, it should be on there. Oh, you updated it? Okay, we'll look in a little bit. We'll look in just a little bit. I'm kind of in the zone right now, placing stuff down. Good. 
Who did they called uh, Drew a dick by now? That's true. Yeah, he's not watching. He's busy in uh, he's out and about right now. He's out and about in uh, in his town, walking around with the and getting uh, you sent me pictures of his downtown because he's getting uh, references. That's what I was looking for. He's getting references for some buildings that he wants to do. He found this. He's had, I had this place called Old Reds. Old Reds that he uh, sent me a picture of. But yeah, he is not here right now. And if he is, well, he's a dick then. <laughs> it looks like uh, the clutter in your room just a little bit more. Oh, good. We're on the right track. We're on the right track then. Love it. Also, I'm negative, which is great. What is he negative at? What is because, or what's duct tape talking about because? Oh! That's good news. Yeah, a negative COVID test is always a good good sign. All right. That is good. Dang, he just got that like 10 minutes ago. He must have one of those rapid test things. Where's the fire pit? Uh, when this town is done, please upload it to the Steam Workshop. We will. I think what we're going to do, and I have to talk to Estian about this. Um, I think what we'll do is... Um, oh, nuts. Can I change the color of that? No. Maybe, like, once we do our official videos, because we plan on releasing official videos for this, maybe we'll release it as we go. I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah, no, we, we do plan on... Uh, releasing it there you completely forgot about covid for like an hour hey if you know it's 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 nice to kind of not have to think about it for at least a little bit you know obviously keep it in the back of your head kind of thing and be mindful but yeah if you don't have to keep it on your mind all the time have a little bit of escapism then that's awesome that's that's uh that's good very some bones too and some voodoo stuff voodoo belongs in the bayou somehow too yeah but we're not doing new orleans bayou remember all y'all keep Point, trying to push us to do a New Orleans build. We're not doing a New Orleans build. We're doing a, uh, it's an Everglades build, which Everglades is a bayou as well. New Orleans isn't the only place in the world that bayou exists. Um, yeah, the the Florida Everglades are pretty dang swampy bayou and everything. So yeah, uh, voodoo and stuff like that, that, that's pretty cool. But again, not New Orleans though. Just don't think New Orleans so much. I've seen a lot of people starting to like push, trying to push us to do builds that are New Orleans type. It's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> We're not doing a New Orleans build. I, li I love you some Nala. Don't get me wrong, but that's not what we're doing for this build. We can do that in the future, though, because uh, Everglades Bayou and uh, Louisiana New Orleans Bayou, totally different things. Do, do, voodoo is everywhere? Yeah, but when you talk voodoo and bayou, people are trying to push it into a... Um, uh, New Orleans vibe. And that's just not what we want to do. There might be little hints of it here and there, but it's just not fully what we're wanting to do. Where's the... Is this the smallest one we have? Oh no, I thought we had smaller logs. I thought we had some smaller logs. We do, they're in habitat. Do, 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 do. Yeah, some plants and stuff, definitely. Yep. Our bedtime has got extended till nearly the end of the month, so no idea when I'll be able to play hockey again. Oh, dang. Dang. Yeah, we'll get some foliage up in here and all that kind of fun stuff. Heck yeah. Do, 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 do. Hey, Roof, have a good one, buddy. Thanks for submitting your stuff today, and hopefully we'll see some more builds from you in the future. Have a good one, buddy. Wow, 
Why does he have a fire pit in his little shack? Just in case it gets cold. Because, you know, they live in Florida. And people who live in Florida, if it gets below the, the temperature of, like, 60 degrees Fahrenheit, they, they just get so cold, you know? It's just, they feel so bad. Oh, poor little Florida people in their 65 degree weather. Oh. <laughs> I make fun of them because I used to live in Florida. And when I lived there for, like, a year or whatever... I had a few people who were like that. They're like, oh man, there's a cold front coming in tomorrow. It's going to be a high of uh, only 65 and a low of like, I don't know, like, like uh, 55 or whatever. We got to get our winter sweatshirts on and stuff. I'm just like, oh, sweetheart, you're adorable. Y'all are freaking adorable right now. Like I'm sitting out there and a few others of us from the Midwest in our shorts and a t-shirt like, yeah, woohoo. Everyone else who's a native Florida person is like, oh, fuck. It's like, oh, man, y'all are just some, y'all are just adorable with your thin blood right now. <laughs> and that's all it was. Their blood was just thin. They don't have the uh, thick blood like um, we do. <laughs> so... Coming to the UK, yeah. Your cousin cries when it's under 70. Yep, yep. <laughs> you know what we're going to have to do? We're going to have to put a little stack right here. We're going to have to have like a little opening for the roof. Speaking of, I'm going to start through the roof. I do like fire. <laughs> you don't believe your, you leave your bed when it's below 80. Yep, see, there you go. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And, like, I kind of got that way a little bit when I was living there. I lived there for just over a year. And I guess, like, I got that a little bit near, like, my first or my second winter, technically. Because I moved there in winter. And, yeah, by the next time, I went through, like, a summer and an autumn and all that. And I was a little bit like that, but I was still, like, no. It was, like, a remember your roots thing. Like, don't, don't say that 65, 70 is cold. Don't you dare. Because you know what it's like back home where it's, like, yeah, today I think we have a high of 18 Fahrenheit. I shouldn't even have to say that. I'm American. If you can't deduce that I'm saying Fahrenheit, then I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. That was like the conversation we had the other day with someone. They're like, are you talking about American football when you say football? I was like, yeah. I am indeed from the United States. So yes, I am talking about American football. <laughs> he used to live in uh, Pennsylvania. And he used to laugh at them when they were like, it's hot. It was hot at 65 degrees, right? <laughs> uh, continue to believe that in normal times, if the temperature is under my age, I shouldn't have to go into work. Oh, that's a good one. I like that. I like that. I mean, it kind of stinks for me right now, but because like 31, but <laughs> I like that reasoning. Do, do, do. I haven't been able to play uh, some hooky, no no puck there in months in the hockey capital of the world. Yeah, it's a bummer. But when it's ready to come back, you'll be ready to more so than ever. Heck yeah. What if instead of that one, we use the shorter one? I think that'll work out better. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. If that was true, no one would ever work in England. Oh, if you only worked um, under your age? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? How come no one's at work today? Well, because it was about... It was 95 today, so... Only Gretchen felt like coming in. Or was uh, supposed to come in. with Everglades since they have so many invasive species. You can get away with uh, pythons, monitors too. Oh yeah, monitors, there you go. 
I'm sure we'll have some of them in there. I don't think we're replacing the monitors with anything for, as far as mods go. No, we're not. So we're good there. Uh, who decided to do a custom roof with this? Whose idea was this? I need to talk to your manager. We have streams like mine to keep our minds focused elsewhere, right? Oh, what, um, I've been irritable lately. You can't go into public without wanting to call everyone else. <laughs> well, I, I solve that by just not going out in public. Because, yeah. Public is weird. Are you public? You're weird. So, yeah, I just choose to not go out at all. There we go. I just wanted to look a little bit more jinkified, basically. And I'm not going to copy over this side because I want it to look really just like hand thrown up, basically. Do -do -do. Herman, enjoy getting your back to walk on, buddy. Hope it feels better afterwards. We'll talk at you later. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. Not going to your, is your solution as well. Right. Just like limit it. But it's like, when you do have to go out in public, it's like, <laughs> everybody, stop it. Stop what? Existing. Just stop breathing. Stop thinking about breathing. Just stop it. And then what's the point, right? <laughs> Do, do. Basic Builder, have a good one, buddy. We'll talk at you later, too. We will talk at you later as well. Have a good rest of your day there. How are we doing on a janky scale right now, everyone? Is this the... The general idea, pretty... Oh, come on. That, that looks pretty all right. That's coming together a little bit. That's coming together. We got to put a smoke stack on top of it, though, right? Okay, let's put the stork stack and the smoke stack. <laughs> the stork smoke... The st stork st st stack. Do, do, do. Excited for the NHL to start in a week and a half. I am excited for hockey, but I'm not excited for the Blackhawks this year. <laughs> God, we lost Doc for three to four months. Taves is out with an unspecified thing, which probably means that he has, like, concussions or something ridiculous. This will be another bottom year for us, but I'm just overall excited for hockey. I'm excited for hockey. Finally, a good sports on TV again. <laughs> I don't mind all the other sports. I just can't watch them as long. Like, they just don't hold my interest as long as hockey does. Like, foot, like American football and soccer and all that. I just can't watch it. I don't mind them. I'll watch them. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just... Hockey is just so much fun. Like, like It's just everything. Is there a rounded bit of steel? I feel like there might not be. Jenksville, USA. Right. Yeah, I gotta have the chimney. Yep. You're right. You are right. Yeah, here it is. little boat out in the deck oh you know what maybe we'll take um maybe we'll take the sinking boat out here or maybe this boat here and like repurpose it yeah yeah you enjoyed the mighty ducks i mean yeah that's that's a hockey uh that's a movie that has hockey in it for sure yeah i think there's a series coming out on the mighty ducks there's like a new uh, i think it's a tv series isn't it or is it another movie and it has emilio Emilio Estevez. <laughs> I don't know if this is from like an SNL skit or something, but like my friends and I, when we were growing up, whenever someone would say Emilio Estevez, we'd always go Emilio. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why. I feel like it might have been from an SNL skit or something like that. Did you guys um, hear they announced the outdoor NHL games in Lake Tahoe? No, I didn't. That's awesome. Oh, weird elements like the Marion Hosa has where his equipment is going to... Uh, something ridiculous like that, right? And he's like, well, he has to retire now. Which, well, it's not the worst thing in the world. He's kind of... <laughs> he's kind of on the back end a little bit sooner than I would have liked him to. Here, I knew we had a rusty one of these, right? Is this the rusty one? No. I need the Australia pack one. Ah! Ha! Ha! 
found it. Emilio! You don't do sports? That's all right. That's all right. Not everyone does sports. I enjoy a wide variety of sport. I just enjoy competition in sports and everything like that. I think it's fun to watch. Hockey is fighting on skates? Yes, sure, why not? <laughs> That's all. <laughs> I know Silver Fox is probably going to, yep, there he goes. <laughs> I'll say Silver Fox is going to take offense to that, but I just, whenever people say that, like, oh, that's the one where they fight, right? I'm like, sure. <laughs> I don't even have time to go through it. But yes, that is the one where they do fight on skates. But they never can, they can't use the skate, though. That's a common misconception. They cannot take their skate off and beat someone until they die. That is that is not a real thing. <laughs> I got I got into the when I used to um, actually decide to get on online arguments on Reddit. There was someone who um, swore that they were at a hockey game and you can't refute their evidence because they were there in person. That a guy took his skate off and beat someone else up with it, and it was at an NHL game. And but again, you can't argue with them. This was literally their argument. It's like you can't say I'm not right though because you weren't there and I was. It's like dude. If someone beat another player over the head with a, their skate and took it off, like took their skate off their boot or off their foot and beat someone with it, that'd be news, okay? I hate to type to burst your bubble there, Davy Crockett, but like, no, you're wrong. And just, just, just admit it. It's fine to admit you're wrong. <laughs> Logan Paul versus Vander Canel. What? Is, why is Logan Paul fighting Evander Canell? Oh, Kane! Evander Kane? Is that a real thing? Stop it. You can't be- No, you cannot actively murder someone on the ice. It is- That's- That is not a thing that you can do. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> like, who would have known? <laughs> who would have guessed, right? It would take 10 minutes to get the skate off to begin with. I mean, kinda, yeah. The skates, if you put them on correctly, they are wicked. They're supposed to be wicked tight when you put them on, so. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you, Marsh. I appreciate that. I'm having fun. It's fun. It's a fun little build, right? It's a fun build. That's the main thing. As long as you're having fun with it, it shows in the build, I think. Logan Paul is that mop-headed, mouthy YouTuber that is about to fight Floyd Mayweather. What? Why? Where is this? Has this been a thing that's like was announced yesterday? Wait, wait, like Floyd Mayweather? You mean like Floyd flipping Mayweather is gonna fight that YouTuber? He's gonna kill him. He's literally gonna kill that kid. Oh my god. Is this like a pay-per-view thing? Can I watch this dude like get murdered on like live stream or something? Like Mayweather used to have a, well, I mean, he has like, that's probably like 10 years ago. He might die. All right. I mean, dang, <laughs> I'm just kind of perplexed right now. This is the first I've ever heard of any of this. And uh, so a YouTuber is gonna fight the heavyweight champion of the world a few times over. Okay. <laughs> okay. I just 2020, man. <laughs> 2020. I hope he does. It'll be the one time I ever want Mayweather. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm thinking, because Mayweather is a piece of Cuban garbage, to be honest with you. But, um... The Paul brothers aren't much better, <laughs> so that's kind of like... Hmm... Wait, so which one is he fighting? You said... Logan. So which one's Logan? Is he the one that went out to um, the Chinese forest and like was like a shithead out there? Or is it the other one who's just an overall like bad person? <laughs> I can't I can't keep track of which one's which. Didn't Jake Paul send 50 million offer to McGregor Gregor to come out of retirement and box him? What the hell? God. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, the thing is out there now? Okay. Nice. 
<laughs> I just, this is just like, whoa. Whoa. I just... 2020, man. That's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. I know it's 2021, but these are still 2020 events, like, <laughs> happening kind of thing. Um, let's see. I, I feel like... I don't think we're getting to the end at all, but I feel like there's just more I need to kind of put up here. Let's kind of maybe fence in this around here. We'll pause this again, too. Yeah, maybe we'll just fence in that around here. The back and forth drama. I mean, if there's like a quick summary of it, but other than that, I don't care. I mean, obviously I don't care since I didn't even know about this until now. <laughs> so yeah, if there's drama to go with it, you can bet your ass a hundred times over I could give a rip about that. <laughs> so if there's like a quick 30 second summary of it, cool. If not, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Logan's been in one fight and lost. He's obviously doing it to make... He's gonna make a lot of money. I mean, I know. Yeah, no. He's totally doing it to make a boatload of money. And he's gonna if it's like a pay-per-view event. Um, yeah, no. he knows, He's a businessman. He knows what he's doing. Just everyone keeps watching him. I don't know we had this piece. That's kind of cool. Just everyone keeps watching him and giving him money. So... You know, <laughs> it is what it is. As long as you're entertained by it, I guess, you know. Obviously, people are since he's one of the top YouTubers and it's probably one of the top events and all that fun stuff. Um, obviously, people get a kick out of it. Do, 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 do. Sharks is in attorneys, the shark attorneys. They're coming to get you. Or Sharks is in uh, the Shark Tank. I, I love that show, Shark Tank with... Uh, Oh my gosh, I can't even remember his name now because I haven't watched it in a few months. But yeah, all the sharks on there and everything. Mr. Mr. Wonderful. <laughs> there was this YouTube video we watched the other day of uh, like the top 10 somethings or whatever that uh, the sh or yeah, pitches that the sharks passed up on that ended up being like billion dollar companies. And I think Ring was one of them. The doorbell service Ring. I think they passed up on that. And it's like, oh... I mean, hindsight's twenty twenty, right? Obviously, but it's like, dang, dude. <laughs> um, you've never watched the Logan Paul video? I haven't either. I actually, I have not either. I've watched. Well, okay, maybe I've inadvertently um, watched one. Oops, one second. But that was like through another YouTuber making fun of them or ripping on them or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, other than that, I haven't. Um, I haven't really watched. Uh, any, I haven't watched any of their videos. We're going to move this over just a little bit. Do, 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 do. Hey, Claire's here. Claire's made it before we've even started work on Claire's building. So good timing. Good timing. How are you doing today? Yeah, mod squad. That's right. The mod squad. Robin Leonard said he would box them. I'd watch that. I'd watch that. Oh, I just realized there's no side to the building. Okay. That's okay. I love me some Robin Leonard. <laughs> what what a dude. That's that's just like I'm so like happy that I was able to hear more about his story overall because he came to Chicago for a little bit. Super upset that he left. Kind of knew that he would, but um, yeah, his story of alcohol recovery and all that is like dumb inspiring. Like what an inspiring dude. And he just happens to finally be getting the recognition he deserves. <laughs> oh hey claire let me show you before we get going here some more let me show you what i'm thinking here for your build it's uh it's time to take a field trip everyone get your field trip buddies Pew. so here's what we're thinking here's what i'm thinking for your building here um oops chat come back up there we go so yeah i'm thinking of doing the billings baked goods here um, and we'll kind of spice it up to make it a little bit um, better looking and stuff like that. But yeah, I want to make this your restaurant. And I think it's going to work out for what you were requesting because 
look it up here. We have a circular bit. So you are asking for a circular thing? We're gonna put a circular water tower up on it too. And this is gonna go right along the dock side. It's gonna go right up along the dock. Let me show you where. Let me show you what we're thinking. Yeah, we can go there. So right over here, as you're gonna kind of be overlooking the waterway here, so you can kind of picture it with the, the Claire's sign right there, kind of, uh, and then have a big dockside thing right there. I think it'll work. I think it'll look good. I think it'll look awesome. That's a cool building, right? Yeah, yeah. Circular bits, that's right, circular bits. <laughs> uh, that's right, yeah, bring hand sanitizer for your, your uh, field trip, you nasties. Everyone's touching and licking the bus and being gross. I know what y'all are doing on your field trips, you nasties. See, I think that's why, like, when we have kids, I'll never volunteer. Like, I kind of want to volunteer to be, like, a chaperone. But then again, it's like, oh, but kids are so gross. Oh, nasty. Just, just being around them, it's just like, ugh. Um, <laughs> I'm glad you like it, Claire. Where are we finding these reference photos? If you go to Google... Type in bar space mills, B-A-R space M-I-L-L-S. Uh, and then go to images, you will come to Utopia, basically, for uh, Planet Zoo and Planet Coaster builds. Yeah, we started using these builds back in the day of Planet Coaster, but they are model train sets. They are model train sets um, that people build for scale models and stuff like that. And they just happen to be... Uh, literally like in the perfect scale for planet zoo buildings and stuff like that. So yeah, bar mills, then go to images. They're also called um, FOS scaled miniatures. There's different degrees of miniatures. There's like O scale, N scale, H scale. Uh, I'm starting to learn it because I really, I like, I kind of want to do these type of builds, but like for real, <laughs> like just actually make a miniature. Um, they, because yeah, they're perfect for them. They're absolutely perfect for them. Would you name animals after viewers? We can do that. We've been naming so far. Um, we've been naming buildings after um, our mods and our some of our viewers that have been watching a while. So Bold's, this is after uh, Bold, who is in chat. Then we have Heather G's uh, Crawfish Shack, obviously after Heather G. We have uh, Silver Fox Cannery after Mr. Silver Fox in there as well. Um, what else do we have? Mr. Domez's Tap House, uh, the Linda Brew. So yeah, we're kind of going through all of our people and kind of, uh, you know, putting them in there as we go. So we're kind of hitting our mods first and then people that are like members. And then, yeah, as long as you're like a member of the community and kind of chat with us and all that, I'm sure we're going to come up with enough buildings and animals and all that stuff to get everyone included. For sure. For sure. Oh, sniff, sniff. Uh, what's up, Jay Campbell? What's up, Jay Campbell? Do, 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 do. Are those good, Savannah? Yeah. Thank you, Silver Fox. Appreciate your face. Appreciate your face. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and yeah, let's finish up the side here. Now he's kind of boxed in a little bit and I, I don't mind that at all. I actually like that a lot. So we're going to just make this side just walls. Maybe put a window in there or something like that. But yeah, we'll just wall it up. We'll mark Wahlberg it up. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Will's 420 Cafe. Uh, Marsh, have a good one. Thanks so much for hanging out. We appreciate you as always. And we'll see you next time, all right? We will see you next time. <laughs> nice. I mean, you know what else I got watching this morning? I was just, YouTube was so weak. Do you ever have days where YouTube just like recommends you the most random stuff and you're just like, you know what? I'm not even mad, YouTube. Like this is, this is kind of impressive. Um, this morning was live streamers who um, stream at Magic or uh, Disney World all day. So I found this guy this morning. Oh man, I can't remember his name now. But like I sat there and watched him like I was having like my morning breakfast and just all this different stuff. Um, he was just at the Magic Kingdom, just like walking around like, on rides and just hanging out and stuff i was like dude this is kind of awesome <laughs> like i just kind of feel like i'm at magic kingdom right now hanging out during like in the middle of my day i don't know like it just it kind of felt like a home away from home kind of thing haven't been to disney in a while like i just kind of miss my home so it's just kind of nice to like look in on it and stuff like that geekism with you and your face i guess your name's jaunty 
I can call you John T. <laughs> What's up, buddy? How you doing? Big bloody man, you. I like that. Did it? It did. It blocked him from saying bloody. That's awesome. YouTube, never change. Never change, YouTube. <laughs> oh, well, welcome in, man. How is it going? Happy Saturday to you. I can't. Yeah, is it your name? Yeah, it is. It is what your parental units have decided to bestow upon you. <laughs> Geekism, do you still play Planet Zoo? Yeah, Geekism, do you like Planet Zoo, bro? Because no one has asked you that in at least an hour. Uh, YouTube will never change. Good. Keep it that way forever. Holy heck, Vigo man. What is up, dude? I was just like inadvertently this past week. Um, I thought of you because uh, Buxton Zoo came up in my um, when I was going in my saves for Planet Zoo or whatever. It uh, Buxton Zoo came up and I was like, man, I wonder how Vigo Man is. But good to see you, buddy. Uh, if y'all don't know, Vigo Man is an awesome content creator. Uh, does a lot of uh, Minecraft still, right? So if you're into the Minecraft there you should definitely be checking out mr vigo man <laughs> john complaining about a game in early access cr crashing well yeah <laughs> it does have some really bad crashes in it though baldur's gate <laughs> he messed around with the aquatic pack but didn't come up with anything worth showing off and if he did it was probably like this, it was kind of funny, who was it? Nicholas Lionrider was saying how everybody was making like um, seal exhibits that looked like like a Dutch one, like a Dutch village. And I was like, yep, Chuck did that. And he's like, and everyone had their penguin habitats, like look like they're either like a nice indoor one or outdoor. Yep, Chuck did that. <laughs> there's only just like, I don't know. There's kind of just so much you can do with them. There's only so much you can do. Do, 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 do. Oh God, it's SDN. Everyone, shh, shh. Mods, be ready. If anyone talks about SDN, surprise you, you ban, you three hundred second, you three hundred second them out. I don't care if they're if they're a long time member, if they're a member, anything. You you shh, <laughs> you shh, okay. Uh, the totter's out. Have a good one, totter. Have a good one. All right, let's see here. Oh yeah, let's add some stuff on the deck here. Let's add some stuff on here. Bands are coming, that's right. That's right, everyone, just be warned. If you mention anything about the surprise coming later for SDN, banned for 300 seconds at least. <laughs> I, will, I will just, I'll do it right now. So don't don't make me do it there. William Holmes coming in hot with that five dollar super chat there. Appreciate the heck out of you. Here's a little bit to help with getting your stream deck. It's not much, but it's a start. Dude, I appreciate your face. Thank you so much, my friend. And thank you for just hanging out and relaxing day in and day out. Thank you so much, buddy. Um, let's get some tarps. That's right. I want to get some twerps. I need some twerps. One second, I need to check Discord. <laughs> oh good, he is liking it, okay. And yes, John T, you should. <laughs> yes, you should. Do, 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 do. Yay! Get all the claps in there and all that. Yes, good. Thank you so much, y'all. Will you? <laughs> Is that going to turn into like our merch? Is our merch literally just going to be me yelling William's name? <clears throat> like, that's going to be the first bit of merch that we do. <laughs> just. Why does your shirts just say William? Is that like a reference to Knight's Tale? Listen to your little shit. Tell me the secret. He did. He, worse than that, too. Gosh. 
He's so abusive, you guys. You have no idea. You have no idea. He's just... Every day I wake up, he's like, Listen here! I need that! And he, he makes me do his real work, too. He doesn't tell you guys this, but he makes me do his real work. Like, he'll be sitting at work and be like, Listen, I got a file I need done! And, and Susan's on my neck about it, so... Get it done! <laughs> exactly, see? On the back of it and says Holmes. Yeah, just dot 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 Holmes. <laughs> do I have a... Yeah, I do. Uh-huh. Yep, because that's where all my... My yub tub stuff is connected through. <laughs> I'll keep you my dirty S Dan secret. Dirty S Dan secret. <laughs> Won't tell you why your secret is. I don't know. <laughs> I'll keep you my dirty little ass, Dan. <laughs> oh, you know what we should put over here? What about some uh, eggs? We'll put some of the little eggs. Oh, that's way bigger than I thought it was. That's what she said. That's what he said. That's what they said. Where's this? I need this. just a small... Just a small ball. Oh, that works. You sent it directly to to PayPal, so YouTube doesn't get it cut. Oh, look at you! We used to do that on a uh, Twitch too. People would ask for that. The donate. I used to have a just a straight up donation link that was linked straight to my PayPal, but I keep forgetting to put it back. I should totally do that because yeah, screw you, YouTube, and taking. I don't even know how much they take. <laughs> I should probably find out, shouldn't I? They're going to be radioactive eggs at night. They would be, wouldn't they? We can't turn them off. Yeah, I think the art shapes work out better anyways, but... Yeah, to start playing the song Radioactive in the background. What if we put, like... Can we put a tent up here? Whoa, it got bright. Emma! Oh, wait, no, no, you're different. MS Queen. No. Queen. No. MS Queen! <laughs> no idea what a, a Steam Deck is, but I will match William. Bye, y'all! Oh my gosh, was that your outro? Did did Queen just come in and, and drop the mic? I think that's what just happened. I think MS Queen came up in here, doubled what William did for the Stream Deck, has no idea what it is, and was like, boom, mic drop, I'm out. <laughs> that's so awesome. Thank you so much for your contribution to the Stream Deck, which we are probably almost basically there. I need to double check how much uh, the one I was looking at is, but thank you so much. I appreciate your face. I appreciate your stinking face. Not that it stinks. It's just a stinking face. <laughs> you knew it was going to happen. William had a spidey sense about it. William had a little bit of a spidey sense happening about that. Yeah, we're going to throw this up there. I think that kind of works. <laughs> you rock yeah right Emma's queen is just the giver the giver the giver love it love it this Emma's queen person is super generous aren't they yeah I saw her donate um, on I am the lion stream the other day oh that's so good uh, they're like the Mr. Beast of the Planet Zoo community <laughs> like the Mr. Beast of the Planet Zoo community we did this instead I has idea I has idea I has idea scary I know I have an idea but just work with me here I don't think we're getting to Claire's today I'm just realizing what time it is and stuff I don't think we're getting to Claire's today I didn't anticipate doing this much but I'm act I'm uh, happy with how it's coming out though so Claire my, my friend we will have to get you in your area done probably tomorrow which is fine because we can devote a whole stream to it basically and really um get it where we want it to be 
But I want to bring the deck over a little bit. Oh, over that way or over this way? No, 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 over this way. We're going to move that boat. Probably Mr. Beast in disguise. There you go. <laughs> uh, for Drew to slide into my DM so I can drop some dollars. Oh. I didn't realize you actually were, were doing that now. Do I remember my login? Oh, it's already automatic. <laughs> Way to go, Maybell. Way to go. I have to set something up still. I will get at you though, because I appreciate you. I appreciate you first and foremost for even thinking that, but let me, I don't want to take too much time away from this. Um, let me set some, I have to set something up to get a link or whatever. I didn't realize I had to do so, but thank you. Thank you ahead of time. <laughs> you don't mind, this is looking great, but deep down Claire's sitting there like, but I wanted my building to be built today, dang it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, see, so yeah, I'm gonna put that there. Please click it. Do it. Yay! Just for now, we're gonna put this over on the other side. Do, 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 do. But it looks good, Drew, so I, um, that I can pitch in any way I can. I'm gonna hop off here later. Hey, William, dude, yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate you, buddy. We will. What? Talk at you later. Talk at you later. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so now this is going out here. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Ooh, but how far are we getting over this way now? That's the only bummer, actually, is we're getting a little bit too far this way. It's supposed to be like a secretive kind of shack. What if we put it on the backside over here? Or I guess just got rid of one of these and had it come out just one. It could go on the opposite side, too. No, this is fine. This is fine. This twerks. Oh, you can work with this. Murder shack shouldn't be too obvious. I, yeah, that's that's like that's rule number one, right? Don't make your murder shack very obvious. The five rules to murder shacking. Step one: Don't make your murder shack obvious. You dumb shit. Lesson two. Refer back to lesson one, and if you still haven't gotten it, you're still a dumb shit. Dive, dip, duck, dodge, dive. <laughs> so I'm just not um, sure, is UFO sightings in Florida a thing? Um, would it be cool to do a UFO crop field of some sort of Easter egg uh, kind of thing? Not so much in Florida, but there's enough Florida man stuff that, oh shit, that we could probably get away with it. We probably could get away with it. Not really in Florida, but the Midwest is. Yeah, Midwest and um, the West, like where uh, Area 51 is. Area 51 is in, uh, what state is it in? Utah? No, uh, Nevada, right? It's in Nevada. But anyways, way out West is, uh, like Southwest is really big active into the UFO stuff. Uh, Arizona, okay. Or is it, do, 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 it's Arizona, yeah. Oh, it is Nevada? Heather, I can't listen to you ever again. <laughs> I'm kidding. 
Heather's just like, I don't know, here's here's a southern or a western state. I know that. <laughs> I got that much for you. Better than my guess. Do, 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 do. It's in Nevada. Texas as well has a little bit. Yeah. You're installing Baldur's Gate. Hey, I am the devil on your shoulder. <laughs> uh, we'll talk to you in a few hours then. Well, no, probably not. You're, you are you have decent internet, obviously. Um, ooh, stop it. This is copyright. Shut up. God, just play that again. I hate how Spotify goes into... Is there a way that I can make Spotify not automatically play afterwards, like the recommended songs? I got busted two days ago for that by uh, missing it. Uh, anyways, uh, Baldur's Gate. Yes. Yes! We're gonna play D&D when we're not playing D&D. Oh man, I hope we can play tonight. It reckons it's an hour download. That's not too bad. Yeah, I think it was like a 60 gig game. 60 or gigabytes or so. Which at first, when I first saw that, I was like, God damn! <laughs> but then I remembered that like... The free Call of Duty that's out is like, what did we just say? Because it's like 120 gigs or something like that. Yeah. Did, did, did you down for some tonight? Nice. Sounds good. Yeah. Um, maybe get the uh, the controls are super simple. It's I mean if you played any of the other RPG type games like Divinity or any of that, you'll get it real quick. But yeah. Oh, sick. <laughs> the classes are a limit, little bit limited at the moment, but I believe they're gonna come out with more as the release is uh, done more. So I think right now you can be a half elf, human, tiefling, warlock, wizard, and a drow. Yeah. Do you level up or do we need a similar levels to play? Uh, we do level up. And the way that we'll play is for the multiplayer, you start a story, um, you start the campaign over. Um, as a multiplayer thing and then it saves it as like a separate thing so you can do your own single player one i have four different ones going right now with different classes um but yeah we'll start multiplayer with, at the campaign yep so there's a rogue type yes and a rogue there's a rogue and it's so much fun it's so much fun and it's pretty much the races and everything you know D D. and um yeah i mean like i've been saying it's literally D D. Like you'll just, you'll get into it and you'll do like, you'll see perception rolls happen. And sometimes you'll have to, like, if you're talking to someone, they'll say like, you, do you want to do a, a persuasion check? And you can actually hit that as part of your dialogue box. And you have to roll it and RNG dice will come up like we do in D&D Beyond. And, you know, different story elements, like major story elements happen based on if you pass it or not. So yeah, it's, it's so much fun. <laughs> I've, I sunk like, um, I had a few days off when I first got it because it was around the holidays. I put 30 hours into it in like a week. <laughs> I was such a loser. <laughs> I put 30 hours in that damn thing in like a week. What game? Um, Boulder, Boulder's Gate 3. Baldur's Gate 3. Oh yeah, my original idea I was doing for this. Um, where is the um, bucket? Right, we had that bucket there. I love D&D. Like, I didn't know how much I liked it until this year when, yeah, myself, John T, because uh, Mass Bandit John, um, S. Dan, and Duct Tape Forum, who's a awesome member of the Bro Nation uh, Discord. Where is this bucket at? Um, yeah, they, John and them, there it is, made a server and invited uh, myself and a few of us to play, and we were total noobs, so I was really fortunate for them to invite. And yeah, I love the shit out of it. It is like the ultimate form of uh, creativity and expression, basically. And I was like, I was kind of um, apprehensive. Actually, I was very apprehensive to start it off. Because, I don't know, it's just... I think it was just a lot of like the quote-unquote like societal type tropes behind D&D &D or whatever. Um... I just kind of like put it into a box and accepted that that was like what D&D &D was. But then like you actually see what D&D &D really is and it's like, oh my God, <laughs> this is the craziest fucking thing in the world. I love it. Do, do. You play a ranger in D&D &D games? Oh, nice. Uh, I'm just glad I don't need to align the stars to do a big damage in video games. Yes, yes. 
about the existence of D&D from shows like Community and Big Bang Theory. Total noob um, over that. Yeah, and that's what I mean. Like, I saw stuff like that from, like, yeah, Community, and I didn't watch Big Bang Theory, but um, other shows that would have D&D um, in it and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, yeah, that looks cute. You know, you got your... You're playing make-believe and you're pretending that's cute that's nice but yeah i don't know you just don't really fully grasp like what it's like until uh you're playing it you're just into it and stuff and now i just feel bad because like i've been invited this is probably my fourth or fifth time being invited to play DD, and i finally like was like yeah you know what funk it let's see it looks like like the perfect group let's try it out and i was like thinking back like man all those other groups i said no to it's like man i missed out I missed out. <sighs> da, 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 da. You and Master talking about uh, the other day about how awesome you newer folks all done. Thanks, dude. I really appreciate that. And again, like it's just because. Well, hey, we've had an awesome DM, and you and John collectively. Um, but yeah, y'all have made it like very welcoming to uh, play. It's just been, yeah, again, it just feels, it feels really natural for the group that we have because we're all, we are all already naturally creative folks. So yeah, just kind of throwing us together in D&D like uh, setting is just fantastic. It's just absolutely fantastic. And I think that's why I'm like so harping on the content stuff because like I think our content that we're going to make is going to be so much fun. Or maybe it'll be a big snooze fest, who knows? But either way, um, hey, Warble, <laughs> hey, Warble. D&D &D stands and falls with the DM. Yeah, I'm about to do, and I'm, it's going to be good because it's my one of my really close friends, like IRL friends, is about to do um, a campaign. And he's done a few in the past before, but we're playing a different version of D&D &D called 7E, which is Call of Cthulhu. I guess it's like really similar to D&D, &D, but just um, has some different like leveling ups and whatever. But anyways, I'm going to get my first experience with not a DM that is not like in this main group that we've been doing. So I'm, I'm interested to see what it's going to be like. Um, I'm really excited too, because again, it's like, it's not, it is D&D, &D, but it's like not kind of thing. Um, so I get to experience like a different form of D&D. &D. I get a new DM. Um, so yeah, that's going to be exciting. <clears throat> and the setting for it is really different too. Call of Cthulhu is great. It sounds cool. Because like when I was telling him, he was like, what do you want to be? And I was like, oh, I, I kind of want to play as a, um, a bard or whatever. <clears throat> and he's like, all right, well, we're not doing classes. Because in Call of Cthulhu, you don't do like classes. He's like, you're all going to have jobs, basically. And your job will dictate. There it is. Um, let me just favorite that. Your job will, or your profession will dictate like what sort of skills you eventually get. Unlike D&D, &D, where it's like, okay, you're a warlock half elf and warlocks get this and half elves get this no matter what or whatever so yeah it seems a little bit more like open and free form a bit than compared to uh regular 5e D, D. so that, again that's why i'm pretty stoked to try it out it just sounds so different different but the same doing role playing really can't um wait to see some of your guys uh playing it yeah it's, it's a little bit nerve-wracking uh not gonna lie like having the camera on and like you know i mean I, we i already make voices and stuff like that on stream but like staying in a character the whole time and stuff like that it's a little bit nerve-wracking to think of you know to do but i think it'll be a lot of fun i think it'll be a lot of fun go little supports going on because i just realized none of this was supported <laughs> we had a flying dock <sighs> 5e is super hard to get into um glad i'm enjoying it oh i love it i love it well it's it's like i told uh mast and them it's like i've played skyrim in the past i've played different rpgs it just kind of felt like all of the years of playing again like skyrim and rpgs and stuff like that just kind of came to fruition into like the real life form of it it's like oh I've been doing this for years. I'm just now putting like the actual game of it into like form. I guess if that makes any sense, like, yeah. <clears throat> Some players love the tactical side of the game, uh, dice rolls and no RP. Um, you have to get the right pairing of players and DM for it to really work. Yeah, you have to have all of it kind of working together. Definitely, definitely. Definitely. Let's we'll stick this out. Oh, that already has support over there. Sweet. 
Basic Builder is back. We are back. Do we have a hammock in game? I think a hammock would be. Yeah, we do. Let's put a, a, a hammock over here. The John Hammock. You just picked up a board game that's basically D&D &D light. Super fun if you're looking for something that doesn't take weeks. Huh, weeks? We're already past the form. We're already past weeks, Savannah. <laughs> our uh, our group is in months now. We're we're we're, we're going to hit a year here pretty soon. What game did you get though, Savannah? <clears throat> Gloomhaven. Ah. Oh. You say 5e is one of the more approachable systems compared to 3a taking hours to make a character. Oh god. Um, what am I, what's my character right now? You're a dragonborn barbarian. In uh, our campaign right now, I am a rogue swashbuckler half-elf named Graros. I can't even pronounce his last name because I got it from a character generator. <laughs> so I, I don't really remember what it is. It's something ridiculous, though. Uh, yeah, he's a pirate with a troubled past <laughs> who's kind of an asshole. And by kind of, I mean, he almost got killed off by his own party already. Because he's such an asshole. <laughs> no, I don't like that. Just get a, a stick through it. You need your role-playing? Oh, we love role-playing sessions. We're going to have an entire role-play session coming up. Uh, fuck, tomorrow. i got to get beer. Um, tomorrow we're going to have an entire role-play session, and I'm really excited about it. I love the roleplay sessions. Don't get me wrong, I love whenever we do tactical battles and stuff like that. Like, we just did a big battle last week where we all, basically, everyone almost died. Um, <laughs> it kind of made for some questionable <laughs> choices on Graros' end uh, to Bernie, which is the character that Jaunty plays. <laughs> I think that Bernie's going to kill Graros one day. But, um, yeah, no, I'm excited to do um, some uh, RP there. Love me some RP. <clears throat> Your character was one word away from killing Graros a few weeks ago. Yeah, he was. It was awesome. It was awesome. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure after last battle where Graros straight up was like, Peace. I'm watching after me myself and I am not in any better favor. Or he. I. It's not me. It's Graros. Graros is not in any better favor. <laughs> That's kind of fun, like, hard to do sometimes, too, where you have to you know, not say I, but, like, it's the character or whatever doing it. Betrayal is great. Really good board game I have is Gloomhaven Jaws of Lion for another awesome time. Nice. It's called Betrayal at House on Hill. You're basically exploring a haunted house and then having to defeat different stories depending on what roles are explored. Oh, my gosh. That sounds awesome. That sounds really fun. I'm all about it. I still have, uh, John, you sent a picture of, uh, I think it was from your store of all the board games that um, you sent. I still have it saved to my computer because, uh, yeah, we're wanting to get into some of the board games this year. So, yeah, we have, like, the beginner set or whatever you want to call it for board games. Like, yeah, we still got that saved on my computer. Uh, let's see here. I know I'm just kind of scrolling around, placing random stuff every once in a while, but that's kind of how this build goes. How big are you? Oh, God, why did you have to be that big? Oh, what about you? That's not bad. That's not bad. I'm going to recolor it. Actually, they're going to go on the inside. That's going to be his head, like his headboard. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Okay, cool. Why not? Why not? You're uh, by level two wolf when we were all level 10. What? I had to use my fire breath to uh, kill it. Just the things just kind of get out of hand a little bit quickly kind of thing or because that sounds like even if you uh, were a level or by yourself level 10, you could uh, destroy the thing. Let alone an entire party of level 10s having trouble with a level two. We had to face off against what almost killed oh, wolf spiders. We had like a pack of wolf spiders like come after us. And yeah, we got real close to dying. Like it was actually probably a lot closer than John wanted this to be, I think, to dying. But it made for a really cool, uh, it made for a good arc or a good swing in the battle. <clears throat> and I think uh, 
Jonty and John had talked about that a little bit, where if you have a good momentum swing in the battle, where it's like, you know, the fighter's up against the ropes, and he's going now, and there, no, oh, and he's coming back. Here it is with a right and a left, and they did it. Like, you know, it makes for such like a better story to tell, like, you know, around the campfire, like, man, I can't believe how close we got to getting cut off there or whatever you know like 15 spiders was rough yeah bird yeah bernie literally was on his ass he, again bernie and garros were staying like like we um we were all kind of cut off by different spiders kind of cutting us off and stuff like that so it was like garros and bernie and then like all the other people garros my character got down to one hp took off and ran away left bernie to get literally knocked down and like almost out of the entire camp like, like he wasn't gonna die like i knew he wasn't going to um when i was meddling or whatever but it was still like oh my god is he gonna actually get like fully killed <laughs> yeah yeah but it was so much fun we played for hours on christmas really that's awesome it sounds fun it sounds like a lot of fun there we go that's more plant that i want You had the hardest uh, time hitting the damn thing. You just bad rolls. And what sucks is we um, had to use the long rest to get all of our spells and my fire breath back. What a waste of a long rest, right? Because, yeah, that's right. You can't even do a short rest to do that. You have to do a long rest to get your spells back and stuff. Ugh, that's why can cantrips are the win. But, um, bada. Yeah, I'm, again, I'm playing a rogue swashbuckler. So I'm like never, I don't think I'm ever going to get like cantrips or spells or anything. Maybe I'll get like one level one spell and cantrip later on down the line. But I, and it fits with my character because I'm like a pirate. But part of me wishes I would have picked the arcane trickster. Because um, being able to be a rogue and doing your sneak attack while also having arcane abilities. Oh, fuck me, man. That just sounds like a good time in a bag. Sneak attack. Fireball, woo, <laughs> and I'm out, and I can do dash, see ya. I am the light, I am the wind, I am the mist. I feel like I might be done. No, I wanted to add more fruit, that's right. Fruit was the last thing I kind of wanted to get going up on here. Just little bits of random, yeah, maybe some like, car oh, rugs, can't we recolor the rugs? Yeah. You knew cool what y'all's uh, problems were with those uh, spiders? Well, yeah, when you sit inside the bushes. <laughs> when you're a ranger whose thing is to sit in the bushes. Your time's coming, though. <laughs> I have a feeling that your time is coming to not be able to sit in the bushes and pop shot people the whole time. I think, yeah, John was mentioning that last time. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I think your, your time of pop shotting from the bushes is going to come to an end soon. <laughs> Unless you're a warlock, you need a long rest. Um, we had to build a hut and then rest. Oh, okay. Yeah, I knew. I thought it was one of the... Um, something there. You, you didn't have to do a long rest. But yeah, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. You are Deathbush. Until one enemy makes their correct perception or stealth check. <laughs> and then he's like, hey, wait, that bush talks. <laughs> Kill the bush. <laughs> That's literally all ranger players. Right. Just like, you can't see me. I am a bush. <laughs> what is that? Is that a tree there? No, I am a tree. I am still a tree. Well, I think it was like one of our first battles that we ever did um, was kind of like that where, <laughs> that's right, it was you, like there was a bush and he like hit, hit in it and then like a skeleton was standing right in front of him. He came out and like popped the skeleton who was like right in front of him kind of thing, like right there. And then he's like, can I try and hide again? And DM was like, I mean... I guess technically, but you'll have to do like an advantage, like, or a disadvantage or something. And he like totally rolled it. So he just was like, Phew, shot you. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm hiding now. You don't see me. Okay. <laughs> it's like somehow that actually worked. And you did hide in front of the skeleton that just saw you pop it in the face. Like, I don't know how, but, and then, yeah, ever since then, he is just always, always a bush.
<laughs> Always the bush. Oh, so because I think you're the last one that hasn't gotten uh, Baldur's Gate there, buddy. No pressure, of course, but definitely would like to have all of our D and D buddies uh, playing if we could. And you can wait a little bit if you'd like to, because it's still an early access, and it's I mean it's a it's a pretty well polished early access, but it's it is in early access, so uh, just keep that in mind. But I think it's a good time for. Uh, for even bringing an early again i put 30 hours into it already so <laughs> just like when i played uh fortnite just just hide yeah just be a bush where are they do you see them no for they are a bush and i cannot see bushes and then here's here's uh Here's the checklist. Here's the murder hobo or the murder shack checklist, right? Cool. Do, 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 do. There it is. I like this tree. This is such a good tree. Found this on the workshop. Oh, so good. Let's see if we can't sneak this bad boy in here somewhere. I know this is on top of the bird nest, but it might look better than the bird nest, to be honest with you. It kind of does. I kind of like that a lot. Yeah, we're going to put that there. Sorry, burbs. <clears throat> we'll save the eggs, though. We'll put them up here. It kind of doesn't make sense to have two nests anyways, does it? It doesn't really make too much sense. I mean, not that a lot of this build makes sense, but... <laughs> I think it looks pretty cool right there. We're going to try and do this a little bit more, where we have the trees kind of growing up through the shack, basically. Bushes, ew, ew, gross. So yeah, Estin, here's what we have going here, buddy. I added the second story. We even have a little bit of an interior going on here. And just trying to make it look like it's, I could put some stuff up top there. Um, but yeah, just the second story to the shack, man, to the murder shack. Now we got to hide it a little bit more, I think. You know, we gotta hide it just a bit more. It's a little bit too exposed. We don't want it. We don't want our murder shacks too exposed. You know, we gotta keep them a little bit, a little bit sneaky. Sneaky murder shacks is the name of the game. Yeah, everyone, everyone shut up, shut up. <laughs> saying it like that but i know that's how you're saying it that's that's s dan for yeah no i really do like that because <laughs> like throughout the day we'll send each other back and forth like a lot of messages and a lot of pictures of like what we're working on there's only so many times we can pull up the thesaurus to go nice looks good awesome damn man but um you know if if s dan comes in and goes oh daddy <laughs> then you know that you that i'm on to something <laughs> You know that you're onto something if you get to know daddy. Those three, oh, these are great, aren't they? I'm pretty sure that these are by Haribo, by the way. Let me let me check right now, because I didn't make them. I got, I've got i used those in like so many different builds, because they're fantastic. Uh, I think they're by Haribo. Let me double check, though. Yeah, custom dead tree. Yeah, by Haribo. So everyone, if you like, don't want these trees, it's called custom dead tree. Um... By Haribo there. We love Haribo. They are what them. It sounds dirty. <laughs> the tree sunk into the water. Yeah. Like underwater and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We do need to get the bottom here kind of going. Yep, we do. But yeah, they add just so much to a build. Okay. I like your idea here. So we're putting the graveyard. We're going to move it just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> do, 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 do. You still, oh, aren't they great? Yeah. Yeah. Are you streaming today? That's Don. I think he is. I'm pretty sure he is. Oh, 
I'm pretty sure he is. Now we're getting into my element. We're doing horror stuff. Oh, I used to do horror builds on Planet Coaster all the time. That turned out, if I didn't say so myself, pretty awesome. Like, I love doing horror builds in game and IRL too. Like, making haunted houses and stuff. Like, I'm, I like that kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm good at it too. <laughs> I'm pretty good at it too. You think I'm most likely not at this point? What the heck? You're still at Gatlinburg? Well, uh, uh. <laughs> Well, fine, S. Dan. I guess we can let you have a day off. I guess he can have it one day off. But any more than that, and we're really going to have to talk. You're going to start to turn into like that Beyond Drew guy who takes two days off and just everyone yells at him afterwards. It's like, listen here, you big dummy. Listen here. No relation to the Scranton Strangler. No, none at all. None at all. <laughs> Should we do, like, torches out here, you think? Or would he have, like, electricity? Because part of me feels like he would have just, like, rudimentary. Maybe he has, like, a generator in the back that's... Oh, yeah, because you have electricity right there. Maybe he has, like, a generator in back that has, like, a little bit of, uh... <clears throat> a little bit of, uh, power in it or something. Because I do like these lights. I like these lights. There we go. Do, do, do. It's not even 2 p.m. for me. Uh, you got plenty of time, S. Dan. Right. Just go back in time, S. Dan. A candle? So yeah, a candle. A candle might be kind of cool. It's lighted by the souls of your victims. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. I like that even more. You know what? I think we're going to go with that. We're going to say that there's like a little generator in back that I will build. But the rest of it's going to be like, yeah, like flame and candle, basically. Oh, that's kind of neat looking. Look at all these ones like I never use these, but looks kind of cool. Oh, is that the same exact one as this? Chalk. Oh, S. Dan, Jaunty and John got Baldur's Gate today, by the way. So I think it's only you and Because that don't have Baldur's Gate now. So, uh, hey, Endal. So, yeah, S. Dan, you might need to jump on and get, uh, get some Baldur's Gate with us, too, there, buddy. You might just have to do it. Play some D&D &D with us throughout the week. How about, he, how about the bodies are the fuels for the generator? Oh, man, we're getting deep now. We're getting dark. I love it. You got a $30 Steam card not going to use? Hey, 30 more not Steam dollars, and it's yours. I think it's 60 right now. I think it's 60. And yeah, again, it's so much fun, dude. It is so much fun. I think you'd enjoy it. Baldur's Gate 3. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, go ahead and look it up if you want to get a little bit more look at what it's all about and stuff. But again, it's it's literally D&D &D in video game form. <laughs> it's, oh, heck. And this has an interior to it, so I don't really want to have that happening. That's okay. Can you be an orc? Not at the moment. Oh, is it only four-player multiplayer? Oh, what the heck? Okay, yes, Dan, and because it is not as imperative to get it then. No, actually, because not everyone's going to be able to play at the same time. But uh, as of right now, no, you cannot play as an orc. But I feel like that's going to um, come. You can play as a halfling. Oh, wait, can you play as an orc? No, I don't think so. 
Yeah, there's six of us, yeah. <laughs> I kind of forgot about that. Kind of forgot about that. <sighs> do, 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 do. Chances of getting, yeah, of everyone getting together, yeah. Very slim, yeah. So even if everyone gets it, we could probably have two or three different campaigns going with it or something, I guess. And. They took that episode off uh, Netflix and Hulu. The D and D episode, yeah, for like the dumbest reason. So yeah, you can't watch the uh, you cannot watch the original Community D and D episode anymore because uh, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it at that because of whatever. <laughs> the Office is still available on Canadian Netflix. More reason for me to get a VPN. Actually, I've seen the Office so many times now. Like I don't even like. I love the show, but I've seen it like four or five times now. Don't think I need to see it anymore. I think I'm good. Speaking of being good, I think I'm good with this. Yeah, we just need to add more foliage around and kind of hide it a little bit more overall, but yeah. Do, 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 do. What's your idea? What is your idea? Oh, you're in Ikea? I was on in Ikea? Oh my gosh. Hello, not Ikea. Hello, car. Hello, car. One AM? You're streaming at one AM? I'm out. I'm out. I'm not gonna be there. I'm gonna be doing my favorite thing. Something that I'm really good at too. I'm gonna to be sleeping. <laughs> I'm gonna be sleeping. It's like my favorite thing to do. And I'm super good at it. Yeah, even Heather, even, even Heather isn't gonna be able to tap in for that one it looks like. <laughs> You're going to make uh, half the world mad by saying this. I've never seen a full episode of The Office. Oh, that's fine. The Office is one of those shows where, like, I, I love the shit out of it. I love the humor in it and all that. But, like, um, yeah, I totally understand when people, like, have no interest in watching it. Or, like, when they do watch it and they're like, wait, I don't get it. I'm like, yeah, no, that, that's... I'm not, like, one of those Office fans who are like, wait, you don't get it? So you just don't like comedy, do you? You just don't know what comedy is. It's like, oh, shut up. That's like the Rick and Morty people are kind of like that, too. It's like, oh, shut up. <laughs> but uh, I think it's funny. I always recommend people um, give it more of a chance than just season one. Because it's uh, it's really rough the first season. It is really rough the first season. Um, there's some really classic episodes. It's also a little bit dated at this point, too, in the first season. Because I think it came out in like 2004 or something shit like that. But um, yeah, I think it's a great show. I think it's a great comedy. <clears throat> But definitely not for everyone. I can tell you that right now. It is not for everyone. If you don't like awkward situations or don't think they're funny or anything, then you are not going to like the show. Like, the whole show is based around that. 
He's like, if you don't like awkward situations, you are going to feel uncomfortable and not find it funny. I find uncomfortable situations funny, <laughs> which is why I sometimes make uncomfortable situations. So, yeah, I think the nuance in everyday um, uncomfortableness can be hilarious, especially when look look through the eyes of like the the simple Joe or the everyday man kind of thing. Yeah, I think that kind of stuff's hilarious. Oh, boy. If you ever worked in an office, there's no comedy. It's all dirty games. Gross. I've never worked in an office. And I never have any in, in passion to at all. I th actually think I would like, I mean, it's not like a drama queen, but like I, I would, no, I just can't. I don't know if I could ever work in an office. They look just like souls crushing boxes. I don't know. Power to you if you do it. And that's awesome. You got like a consistent job and everything like that. I just, I can't, I couldn't do that. I feel like I would be suffocating. The one kind of office job I did work where it was like a warehouse office kind of gig. I, I like literally felt like I was suffocating like halfway through the day. I was like, I need to get out. I need to go. I can't do this. I just can't. I need to be like moving. I just need to be going. I don't know. I just can't be trapped in a large box for eight hours a day and expect to be productive. I'd have a mental breakdown in an office. I actually might. <laughs> After a little bit of time in an office, I, I might. Because, uh, yeah, I, I don't know how y'all, how people do that. I don't. I'd much rather work outside or just something where I'm always switching up locations or I, I don't know. I don't know. It's just me. Do, do, do. Half your uh, half your job is office work. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Spanish moss is more than good. It's great. Do 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 do. Working in the office was pretty dull, but I do miss the uh, Monday through Friday schedule. That was the nice thing. What's up, uh, Megan B? How you doing, by the way? Good to see you. I did uh, I did like the consistency, for sure. Um, eh, yeah. <laughs> Meh, yeah. You argue and, uh, ne argue and negotiate with people for a living? Really? Can I do that with you? <laughs> I wanted that job too. <laughs> I'm really good at arguing with people. I kind of realized that, like, the, from my family, like, growing up and stuff, like, I mean, we, like, we were always arguing. I'm, like, really good at arguing with people. <clears throat> for better or worse, I guess. <laughs> it's probably not a great thing to, like, brag about how good of an arguer I am. <laughs> I'm not even a lawyer. George Costanza song. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, none of these fit. None of these fit. But they almost fit. So we'll use instead something different. Mm <laughs> yes, yeah, silver fox, exactly. Is that plywood on the roof? Yeah. There was a hole. There was a hole and, you know, a piece of plywood had, had drifted by the other day. So just kind of threw it up there. And it, it does the trick, you know, that you just put a bucket underneath there. Oh, speaking of, you know what'd be funny? Is right where these tarps are? What if we put this bucket? Like it's catching water. <laughs> and like the tarps didn't fully work or whatever. So then, yeah, like the tarps are like about here-ish. So yeah, what if we put like a bird? No, we'll do it on this side. 
We'll put a bucket right over here. I don't know what these were for. I just kind of put them in to put them in. So yeah, like it's leaking water over here. Do 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 do. Full yeah, full waterproof. That's right. Not a not a leak. Not a leak gets in. All right. <laughs> Don't, don't worry about the hole right here. And you know, maybe there's might be a few over here. Don't, don't worry about those. This puppy knocks on it. This puppy is strong as an ox. Boom, <laughs> it just falls over. <laughs> Three short years of law school and then we can open a firm together. Call it uh, Frankie Does Justice. Oh my gosh. As long as I can just yell Frank at people all day. Just let me just answer the phone and be like, Frank. And if it's not Frank, I just hang up on him. That's, a, that's, our, that's our commercial. <laughs> Beyond Silver, we only talk to you if your name's Frank. If not, get the fuck out. <laughs> we have a perfect business model. Impenetrable. Not named Frank? There's the door, senor. <laughs> You can smell the humidity and steam through the stream. Oh, good. We're doing good then, right? That means we're doing a good job. <laughs> you know, whenever uh, SDN will send a, a blueprint or a blueprint, a uh, screenshot of our, I'm just like, ugh, what a sticky, nasty, humid screenshot that is. It's, it's perfect. And you know, speaking of that, let's get some more of that. A lot of what's doing is the mist there, which I think is a really cool little bit to add in. You can smell the fungus. <laughs> Level one hurricane would absolutely kill that shack. It's okay. It took less than half a day to put up. It'll take less than half a day to knock it down. It'll do another one out. It just kind of upgrades. So like whenever the shack gets knocked down, instead of looking at it like a, like like it's a downgrade, it's more of like an evolutionary upgrade, right? He's just like, I will build it back, bigger, better, faster. <gasps> Excuse me, stronger. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I want this area to be like, I think it'd look cool, like really, really, really missed it up. Like a lot of mist hanging out around here. Extra kill, psycho killer vibes. Psycho killer, what you say? Ba, 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 better. Run, 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 run away. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, yeah. I love this. Oh man, talking heads. I've listened to Talking Heads in like all year. They were my dad's favorite band growing up, so the Talking Heads were like always on whenever we were growing up, which I'm so thankful for. What a great band that was. Do 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 do. Where's Bolt? Bolt! <laughs> how how many upgrades are we right now? Uh, sixty. So it's a slow upgrade. Zebras, hello. Hey, Zebras. More, more resources to rebuild from the surrounding buildings. Right, whenever they get like, that, yeah, look at it that way. Like all the buildings just mismatch, right? Whenever a hurricane comes through, all the buildings fall over and like all the different pieces like just swap between. So maybe one week, like bolds will look really, really done up and really nice. And then the next week, uh, Heathers will look up like all really nice. and will be little bits of bolds on it and stuff like that. So yeah, it just kind of exchanges hands whenever a big storm comes through. Um, you should stick a dino skeleton from the workshop into a beach area or rock near the water. Oh my gosh, that'd be kind of cool though. <laughs> that'd be kind of cool. Speaking of, I forgot, uh, Totter earlier kept saying to put his whatever in. Kind of forgot. I'll do it later. Hey Murphy, what time is it? It's four o'clock. We have an hour until dinner time. So we're just gonna wait to go outside then. Just wait for dinner. It's in an hour. Yeah, it's in an hour, I swear. I know, just relax. We're just gonna relax. You've been napping all day. You're such, such a good boy. I know, we didn't go out anywhere today. You've just been a lazy dog. Hurricane William! <laughs> yeah, he does just want some loving. He's just resting his head on my lap right now. He just wants a little bit of loving. Yeah, 
Than that, gross. Mm, not quite. Do -hoo -do -hoo. Didn't William want something named after him? I think a natural disaster is pretty high honor. <laughs> I think, yeah, right. Yeah, let's bring that up to him next time. Like, hey, we thought of an idea for you. How about you be something that wipes out humanity? <laughs> awesome. Got that, got that, got that, got that. Yeah, yeah. I'm seriously obsessed with this swamp tree. I think it's the greatest. This is not a workshop item too, but I think it's the coolest looking swamp tree. So if you type in, I think if you literally type in swamp tree on the workshop, it'll come up. But oh yeah, there we go. Do that. And let's get some dead trees in here too, like I did over here. Like we were doing over here. More like Hurricane William. <laughs> you didn't make us a beaver dam. Oh, damn. Damn. That's a good idea. Where's oh, Lion Rider left earlier, but we could get Lion Rider to make us some beavers. Oh, that's Dan. Let's make a beaver. Let's get some beavers in here for real. Heck, that was a big one. I just straight up yawn, y'all. I'm not even... Dang it, alligators. Why are we all out here? Why can't we be cool? See, this is why we can't have nice things, alligators. Because I give you this big old swamp to hang out in. And then you're like, yeah, but what about the grass? Alright, more dead trees spread out here. What would the beaver replace, though? Yeah, that's the question. Just have those beavers be on the lookout for some gators. The pygmy hippo? I don't... Yeah, I don't know why we would ever use a pygmy hippo. Do you... Is it... Okay, can he replace any of the animals with static items in-game? Or is the eagle that we're going to get going to be a static item? I think the eagle is going to be a scenery piece. That's why he was able to switch it out with another scenery piece. But wouldn't it be cool if, like, yeah, he could give us the beavers and switch out, like... You know, something random that we never use. Like, yeah, dirt dirt blowing large. Like, I don't think we're ever going to use that kind of thing. I don't know. He does use... Right, he does use scenery. I, but I feel like the the hawk or the eagle is a static piece that doesn't move. Like, TMTK. I think it's like a TMTK piece and doesn't, like, flap around and move around and stuff like that. Maybe it does. Um, We got to talk to him about that. Because if so, like, that'd be really cool if we didn't have to get rid of any more animals. But we're not going to use the pygmy hippos. Who cares? His stingrays are the Asian wheel. Oh, really? So it is like that. Well, hot damn. Well, hot damn, bud. We should, um... If you want to send him a message on Discord. <laughs> you can totally send him a message on Discord real quick. I'm, uh, I'm down for that. We should get some beavers in here. Some Ethel beavers. My name's Ethel beavers. And I don't like you. Always watching. Always watching, Wazowski. <laughs> yep. Wazowski, you didn't turn in your paperwork again. Yeah. It's crazy to see what the modders get up to. I know. It's crazy. Ethel Beavers is from Parks and Rec. Yeah, that's right. I knew she was from something. Like, I knew it wasn't Monsters, Inc., but I knew she was from something. Yeah. And Ethel Beavers. Can someone give me a ride home? My feet are freaking freezing. <laughs> uh, are we able to add pythons out of their indoor enclosures? Uh, yeah, I'm sure they could.
I'm sure they could. They could do uh, any animal. They can model. They can replace it with an animal that's in-game right now, and um, good to go. Always watching, Wazowski. <laughs> I like how Estate and I are using, like, literally three trees for this entire build right now. Yeah, these are like the three... Here, we'll put this other one back here too, just so we have it for context. These are like the four trees that we've used in this entire build, with some weeping willows. Other than that, nope. <laughs> we've used like no other trees in this whole build. Cool, so that's a lot more hidden. Oh, I need the underwater thing. No. Yeah. Do you want to add the alligators back into their enclosures? Uh, these alligators here are not going to be in enclosures. These are just going to kind of be natural alligators. Um, just kind of in their natural element kind of thing. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. You mean like them outside of their habitat? Eventually. Yeah, eventually we will. Um, I am not very concerned about it at the moment, to be completely honest with you. And then, yeah, eventually we're going to, um, this is what I thought you were talking about, but yeah, we're going to have alligator enclosures all over the place as far as, um, we're going to have like this main one here, um, that's kind of natural. And then we're going to have some more that are like actual, in, like habitats and stuff like that. So. Oh, you got your big bone. You got your new big bone, huh, buddy? Once you want uh, wild hogs free so they can go buck wild. There you go. There you go. They're making a run for it. They're out of here. Get out of here. Go on and get. As much as I like these, we can, I want to switch up the lilies just a little bit. So we're not doing the same lily pad. Over and over and over and over and over again. Cool. Don't we have some that don't have flowers on them? Does every single lily pad have flowers on it? I mean, now we have the giant ones, but those are Amazon ones. Oh, I guess they all have uh, flowers on them. Okay. That works. Dang it, it keeps lifting up. Gators on the prowl. <laughs> Gators got a gun. Just don't let the kids uh, stray too far and they'll be probably fine. Well, yeah, we have everyone sign a waiver when they come in. Just be like, so listen. You know that park Gatorland and how they keep their gators like inside habitats? Not hear it. Not hear it. Uh, Beyond Wolf Reserve. No siree, Bob. Our gators are free for them. We just free roam. So if you could just go ahead and put your little stinking little sausage fingers on this pen here and sign away your life just in case one of our gators decides that you look better for lunch than the food that we provide them, then you know what? Just, that's going to have to be a thing. Yeah, plenty of waivers. Yep, exactly. We're converting the uh, Christmas Village liability. Yeah, exactly. Just go ahead and sign right here and here and here. How many pages is this thing? 120. Just just some light reading that you're not going to want to even be concerned about. Don't you worry. Just some light reading. Should you so happen to lose a finger or your head or your son, we, we're not, we're not, 
<clears throat> we're not available to be contacted about that. We're just going to kind of turn up missing if that ever happens. Be like, no, I can't get back to you. I'm sorry. Still need to put that uh, on the workshop, you believe? What's that, the, the Christmas village? I know, and I goofed up because I never, I just realized it today when I was going through my save files. I never gave you my main street building that like is halfway done. Like, oh man, my bad. <laughs> I just, I, I opened it today. I was like, man, I got the, like, the interior is ready to be filled out. I just need to like kind of fill out the interior. It just kind of never happened. It just kind of never happened. Four hundred pages long, right? Five hundred, six hundred. <laughs> Next year we'll go out for Christmas. Yeah, and that's well. Oh man, sorry. Seem to stretch real quick. I think that might be an SDN plan, and I for all of next this coming year is to just like try and plan more. Cause like I don't know, we're we're okay at it, but there'll be times for sure when. You know, we'll just be doing a build. Like, I, we both did it this holiday season where my Aqua Park Zoo build, that was just supposed to be a random one off build, and then it kind of turned into a whole zoo. SDM was supposed to build a Santa village, and then it kind of turned into, oh, and now it's a whole zoo, <laughs> or it's a whole thing now. So, yeah, like, we love doing those things. Like, we talk about how much we love all these little projects and stuff, but on our end, we have to just do better as content creators to, uh, to plan better, basically. So that doesn't just be like, I guess we're building the whole Christmas village, or I guess we're building the whole, uh, we're building the whole zoo now, I suppose. I like the idea here you did earlier with the fencing around it. I think it'd be kind of cool if you fenced off part of his, uh, little area. We're addicted to streaming now? Yeah! <laughs> You're addicted to watching? Good, good. Well, hopefully, I know that personally for my content creating 21, uh, resolution is to double what we accomplished this year as far as max viewers, not subs. Sub count is different. I'm looking at sub count differently this year compared to um, recent years. But um, for streaming though, if we could double up what we are doing now, I would be satisfied. So that means having a total viewer count at least of 120, because we maxed, no, I'm sorry, it'd be 160, because we maxed out at 80 something viewers during the um, Aquatic Pack release week. That's the day that I beat Frontier in streaming. <laughs> I'm never going to not live that down. I love that moment. <laughs> but yeah, so we need to get at least 160 people watching at some point this year, which I don't know if it'll happen, but who knows with Prehistoric Kingdom and stuff coming out. Uh, SDN and I have big plans for Prehistoric Kingdoms. We're going to be all over that. Keep the good times rolling. Yeah. Put on like 17 videos a month. December, we did like something like 40. Dude, but there was a time when we were putting out like of like two or three videos like a day or like over two days it'll be like four videos well okay not only would we uh put out our own content with Stan and i but then we would switch over and do take two podcasts so we would like record our own stuff talk about it with our own you know our own channel and then Stan and i would hit each other up be like all right time to do uh time to do it again on take two like yep <laughs> so we would have like the same conversation like a few times over during aquatic pack week which is fine because it was a ton of fun to talk about it but like, yeah, we were just sitting there like, like talking about, you know, the 1.4 update and just all this stuff like over and over and over and over and over again. And I think that's why you saw Take Two Podcast take a little bit of a break because we just like, we were talked out. We were, we were podcasted out there just for like a hot second. Like we're, we're ready to jump back into it now for the most part, but yeah, we were just, we hit it so hard there for a little bit. Yeah, let's take away that last one. I'm going to keep this little bit open over here so that they have like a, he has an area to get in and out of with his boot. Speaking of boot, let's move his boot back over this way. His kind of sunken boat, but you know, he every once in a while he'll like, he'll get the water out of it and like repair it up with some of the stuff that's around and then just take it out. But right now it's sunk, so. I'm so excited for Prehistoric Kingdom. It's coming out quarter two, not that long away. What's a good number of videos to put out per month for new creators? If you can do a video every day, that's the most, that's the best 
thing. Um, but if not, the it's not really a set number because there's creators who put out monthly videos like um, Mike, Mark Rober or other ones who literally put out one month videos, but they put it out consistently, same time, same place, you know, every single month. Let me turn the lights on real quick. Um, so that's the biggest thing. If you can only upload three times a week, make sure it's three times a week on the dot. Three times a week at 6 p.m. GMT, make sure it's three times a week. You know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 6 p.m. GMT. Don't miss it. Because that's like what gets the algorithm kind of like getting you going a little bit um, in there. So, uh, yeah, just whatever you can do. If you can do every day, that's the best. But if not, just stay consistent. Stay consistent. You still have a JWE stream to do? Did you download it before it um, got put away? Did you end up downloading it? So, cool. You sent him a JWE key? Shut the front door. Shut the front door. That's so cool. Don't do like me and just be rando. Yeah, well, SDN and I are a little bit... Uh, like, we were fortunate enough to be on the hype train for Planet Zoo when it first came out. So now when we upload videos, like, we... Uh, we, we have a somewhat of a following from when Planet Zoo first came out, obviously. So we, we can we can get away with, <laughs> kind of get away with, we kind of stunted our growth a little bit, but with, um, by uh, just uploading randomly. But yeah, if you can be consistent, that's, that's what really gets the growth going. You bought it like two years. Oh, that's right, you did. Yeah, I, I did, I totally forgot about that. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> Bummer, buddy. <laughs> That's 30 bucks you'll never get back. <laughs> That's 30 bucks that you'll never get back. I'm just guessing that it was 30 bucks. All right, uh, let's put down, let's get the ga gators back in so I don't give uh, Estan a zoo that's full of wandering gators there. We'll help them out just a little bit. You're trying to put two a week for now, but I go back to work on Monday, been off for three weeks. Yeah, when I was working uh, consistently, doing like my five or six days a week, I would do like recording session nights. So um, I haven't been able to catch your channel too much, but if you do um, like time lapses, it's pretty easy to do that. Where just do a, like, just sit there and record all night. Like take like six hours after work or on a weekend and just record. Um, and then just start to break it down, like break one big build up and just kind of start to break it down. So I'd make it so if, when I was doing three um, uploads a week, I'd make sure that like the one build I did, I could break it up into three uploads to spread throughout the week and then schedule them and everything. So yep, 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 yep. Can I not get all these guys back? I thought you could like move them or one or more have escaped their habitats. Oh, so I have to actually mainly go up to every single one of them and like be like, hey, emergency. 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 And you thought you could be sneaky, but I saw you. Yeah, I think you're sneaky and emergency. Done did it. Do, 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 do. Well, what? I did more videos uh, than people who got a key who were... <laughs> Sips tea. <laughs> Sips tea. All right, so now we should be able to take all of you bad mamma jammas and toss you back into the thing there. Get back in the place. Do, 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 do. Yeah, definitely basic builder. I hope it works out for you. And just don't overextend yourself if you can. I know it seems weird to only do like, do like one upload a week or something like that. But if that's all you can um, start off with, then do it. Um, just make sure that you're being consistent. Consistency is the key. The JWE key. <laughs> yeah, there you go, Silver Fox. There you go. All right, I'm just waiting for him to put all the alligators back in. Do I only have one worker, or do we only have one worker in the zoo? Yeah, okay, let's let's help him out a little bit here. Lion Rider has returned. Lion Rider, we have a we have a request for you, my friend. Estan wants to build a beaver enclosure. You think you can get us some beavers? You can get us some beavers there, buddy. Maybe replace out the pygmy hippo or like a scenery item. 
like one of the like the dirt blowing VFX. I don't know. You just do one video a week. Just do what you can. Yep. Yep. Could be tricky, but I can see what you can do. Yeah. Yeah. If you can get it. Awesome. If not, no worries, Duder. We have been building implied exhibits for how long now? <laughs> so, um, but yeah, Estan would like to build a, um, a beaver habitat. And yeah, again, he, he said to get rid of the pygmy hippo. He thinks the pygmy hippos are stupid. He said it in stream. He was like, you know what's the stupidest animal? Those pygmy hippos, just dumb. Gosh, he was so adamant about it too. I don't know what his problem was. Could you all get this one? Hello? Got him, thank you. All right, so now we should be good. Issue is the beavers would sink. But don't they normally do that, right? They kind of like, oh, they, oh, you might want to do a diving animal with the beavers. Hmm. Just wants to uh, dam a stream to build more water features. Yeah, probably. That's all he wants. So he might have to do a diving animal. Maybe the caiman. Anyways, I'm going to wrap up. I'm done. I'm done. Otter? Maybe the female otter? I think you're onto something there. Yeah, I think so. So cool. Um, don't hurt your caimans. It's okay. We can just do the male or the female. And I believe if I remember the caimans look very similar, but the otters look very similar as well between the male and the female. So it's not a big loss, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, peace out of here, everyone. Um, again, kind of had some more ideas to build more than this. Wanted to get started on Claire's and everything, but that didn't happen. That's okay though. Um, so yeah, we'll be back tomorrow though. Tomorrow is Sunday. Yeah. Tomorrow um, at 1 PM central standard time to go ahead and maybe get a fresh look at this. Maybe we want to add, no, there's nothing more to add. I'm good with this. I'm super good with this. Um, but yeah, so uh, we'll go ahead and start on Claire's, which again is gonna be right around this area. Um, and also don't pay much attention to the habitat gates here and stuff like that. This is all gonna move. Like all this is total work in progress. So all this habitat stuff here, don't worry about that at all. <laughs> Tomorrow we're gonna change it around there. So um, cool, cool. Let's go ahead and get the ending stream or ending screen up there. There we go. All thanks to our awesome contributors there. But yeah, hey, thanks so much. Yeah, Lion Rider. Thanks, dude. I appreciate you uh, experimenting. Let us know what you get. If you can get it, awesome. If not, no worries, dude. We appreciate you trying it, though. So yeah, hey, thanks so much, Evan, for hanging out. If this was your first time hanging out, don't forget to hit the subscribe button there. And yeah, we'll be live tomorrow. What'd I say? Oh, at 1. Yeah, tomorrow, 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. So that's 2 p.m. Eastern Time. And uh, cool. Hey, have a good one, everyone. We'll talk at you later. Bye.